I think I'm live right now. I also lazy. Welcome to the Buffalo Bills and New York, New Jersey. Jack do hanging out with you guys for the next three hours as I try to get everything set up here again as per usual. Not ready on time. That's kind of what we expect here on Hashtag Sports, right? Some technical difficulties and uh, some other things that may get a little bit more difficult to get things underway. But we are in the way. It's 1230 here on the East Coast. We're going to talk about some of the inactives, of course, for the game today. We're going to also talk about my three keys to victory for the Buffalo Bills and what I think and I am considering a must-win game for the Buffalo Bills. And some of you might think I'm crazy, um, but if the Buffalo Bills want the number one overall seed in the AFC, Imagine. There you go. Now you see me. Now you see me. Now you don't. Now you see me. Now you don't. But yeah, I can't find uh can't find my cell phone either. Mm, man. What can you do? What can you do? What can you do? What can you do? So I'll find it later. It's not a big deal, right? Not a big deal. But it's hard to go over scores and stuff, if, you know, during the game, as I like to do without my phone. You guys know I like my phone throughout the game to give you score updates, check on my check on my bets, make sure my bets are doing good, all that kind of stuff. So no phone. What am I gonna do? How am I gonna do that? Again, though, thank you for watching on this edition of hashtag sports as we get ready for the game between the Buffalo Bills 
and the New York Jets. Uh, let's go over some of the inactives. We know about some of the Bills and act some big names uh, on the Bills inactive list. Trey White was activated on the 53-man roster, so we're all excited about that. Obviously, unfortunately, inactive today uh, for today's game against the Jets. Maybe look at next week as potential for Tredavious White to come back. Uh, I know we're all looking forward to that, especially with the injuries in our secondary already this season. Uh, have a lot of injuries in that secondary, including Jordan Poyer, who is also inactive today. Obviously, Mike Hyde out for the season still. So uh, that's just a shame that we won't be seeing him the rest of the year. Another big inactive today is Matt Milano. Tremaine Evans leads this team in tackles. He's going to have to have a big game today uh, against this Jets offense. Now, unfortunately for the Jets offense, they're missing probably their brightest star going, coming into the season, Brees Hall, right, towards ACL a few weeks back. So that's unfortunate for them. Um, but at the same time, they still have some weapons. They can still do some damage to respect what they are. Uh, other than Matt Malau, Spencer Brown. Hard to believe. Uh, hard to believe that this is where we're at in the season already halfway through uh, the NFL season. So hopefully, um, you know, the second half of the season goes as well as the first half did. Um, you know, only losing one game, beating the Chiefs. You know, you look at the you look at the rest of our schedule the rest of the way. There are only two games I'm looking at where I'm like, man, that's going to be a tough one. The Monday Nighter in Cincinnati, that's one that I feel like the Buffalo Bills really are going to have to need to win uh, in order to maintain that home field advantage slot moving forward in the AFC. You get that number one overall seed. And you also game against the Minnesota Vikings. I know you know a lot of people sleeping on the Vikings right now, uh, but the Vikings can surprise you. And the Vikings have the talent to beat us. And it's a one o'clock game, so you don't have to worry Kirk Cousins is uh you know prime time jinx. Hey Buffalo Snowy, good to see you. Good evening. Wherever you're watching from I want to see uh Naheem Hines today. Yeah, we did get that trade. We got two trades uh that we could talk about Dean Marlowe. Uh, we traded for as well, again, with our issues in the secondary. We did trade for Dean Marlowe. He is active today. And Taewon, uh, Naheem Hines is also in, uh, an active uh, active participant today. So uh, Naheem Hines, Taewon Jones, Devin Singletary, James Cook, and Reggie Gilliam are our running backs. Obviously, when it comes to Taewon Jones, he's going to be mostly special teams. Hines can play some special teams as well. So we'll see how they line him up today. Uh, it's going to be very interesting what kind of packages they have ready for him because obviously the trade just happened this past week. So not sure how much time he's had to practice with the team. We'll see how he does. When it comes to the linebackers, you got Bernard and Takovic, uh, Edmonds, Dodson, and uh, Balin Spector uh, going in there today. Again, no Matt Milano. So some of these guys are going to have to step up, right? We know that Tyler Matakovic, mostly a special teams guy. So we won't see much of him on the defensive side of the bar, but Terrell Bernard, main inspector, expect to see some of them, Dodson as well. Need to see these guys step up for the Buffalo Bills. Uh, give me one second here. It's at home versus Vikings. Let's take care of the Jets today. Yeah, the Vikings game is at home in Buffalo, and but the Cincy game, I believe, is in Cincinnati on Monday night. So that should be a good one. I'm looking forward to that matchup. And again, you can watch it right here with me live as I do live play, play and reaction to every single Buffalo Bills game. Um, but that's a while away, like you said, Frank. Let's let's take care of the Jets. Let's take care of the Jets. I bet Hines returns punts, but it's limited in offensive snaps. Be interested to see. Uh, hey, Joe, look forward to the game slash show. Thank you, D. Robert. I am looking forward to calling this game as well, uh, which this game, just like last week's game, this game not a primetime game like last week's game, but this game going to be shown through most of the uh, United States, a 1 o'clock game on CBS. If you looked at the map, it's most it was showing this game as over the majority of the United States because this is one of I think two games this week that feature two teams above 500. Both these teams above 500 at this point in the season. The Jets really not expected to be here. The Bills exactly where they thought they would be. Exactly where they thought they would be. Currently the number one seed in the AFC. Um, you know, as long as they they control their own destiny, as long as they only lose one more game the rest of the season then they, they cannot lose that number one seed. Right now, have a one-game lead over everybody. And then we also have the tiebreaker over, over the Kansas City Chiefs. And they're the only team that's only a game back of us. You know, we have a tiebreaker against every divisional leader so far. You talk about the Ravens, we beat them. You talk about the Titans, we beat them. You talk about the Chiefs, we beat them. So three games, we're the only team in the NFL, NFL that has beaten every division leader in their conference already. So 
That is a huge uh, tip of the cap to the Buffalo Bills. Unfortunately, we're the only division leader that doesn't have a division win right now. Now, most of us will say, well, we've only played one divisional matchup. So hard to give us a divisional win when we've only played one game, right? But we should have won that game. Uh, Vikings equals Trey. Trey will be back. And Scott, it's good to see you. Uh, Trey will be back for that game. Hopefully, Poirier will be back for that game. And hopefully, Milano will be back for that game as well. These injuries keep piling up, you know, keep piling up. And it's just unfortunate to see. It happens every year to everybody. I mean, you look at, you know, a team like the Niners. They can't seem to get healthy. Everyone's injured there. Um, but, you know, you have to you have to do with them. And you have to have this next man up philosophy. You know, when we were a team building, um, you know, a few years back, every injury hurt, right? Every injury impacted how this team did. When you're where the Buffalo Bills are at now, and we're, we are Super Bowl contenders now, right? We've been for the past two, three seasons. We are Super Bowl contenders. We are a team that is expected to be in that conversation. You know, you have to have a next man up mentality. Time to take care of our division. Absolutely. It absolutely is. You know, and so far we haven't done a good job doing that. Currently 0-1 against the division. Um, need, to, need to make sure we get these wins, right? 4-2, and two, I feel like, is the worst we can do. Uh, against the division and feel like we have a legitimate shot a winning the division and you know being a top seed in the AFC playoff picture. I, but I do feel like if we lose two divisional matchups, that that really puts us behind the eight ball and having the number one overall seed. There is a lot of time left to play, right? There is a lot of season left. If you talk about that game against against Minnesota, you talk about the game against Cincinnati, you talk about some of these other matchups. You know, we play Cleveland and Detroit, and everyone's like, oh, those are two victories. But also, you got to think about that. We played those two games in four days, right? Because we play on Thanksgiving. And the Lions know what it's like to get blown out on Thanksgiving. That's nothing new to them. But at the same time, two games in four days, you can't take any of that lightly. And then we play uh, lightly. And then we play the following week, play New England, right? So on a Thursday night. So a lot of wacky things can happen uh, between now and the end of the season. So right now, it's about just racking up those wins, getting the division wins when we can because who knows how many more games the Chiefs are going to lose. They got a tough one tonight, even though they're 12 and a half point favorites. The Chiefs being bigger favorites against the Titans than we are against the Jets kind of surprises me. Kind of surprises me. I think both those games will finish within the spread. Like I think neither team, neither the Bills or the Chiefs will cover the spread today. But it does surprise me that we are where we are. It really does. So uh, we'll see how those games turn out. Hopefully you guys will enjoy some Sunday Night Football tonight after, as Chris Trenton says, the Bills win by 50. The Bills win by 50, take care of business, and then we can enjoy some. Only two 4 o'clock games today. Only two. Tampa, L.A., that's the big one. That's the one I think a lot of people are going to talk about. Uh, but there's no, I think it's Arizona and Seattle is the other one. I just can't believe that there are only two 4 o'clock games. Well, there are six teams on by this week so it really limits what the nfl can do if you throw in a thursday game in there sunday night game monday night game uh that's why we don't have a international game this week that's why there's not one this week but there's gonna be one next week uh just because of how many teams are on by now me personally i would love it if the nfl went to a system where 16 teams were on a buy week eight 16 teams were on a buy week nine i know it would limit the amount of uh, coverage the amount of games going on for two weeks, but that's only two weeks. And then you don't have to worry about being like, oh, our team has an early buy or, oh, our team has a late buy. You know, it's pretty much fair down the board when it comes to bye weeks. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Do you like the idea of having just two bye weeks, right? Uh, not two bye weeks each team, although that's something that the NFL is talking about too, but two bye weeks on a whole NFL slate where you have 16 buys, 16 teams on buys week eight, and then 16 teams on buys week nine. Again, I think it evens the playing field as far as rest, as far as, um, you know, equality among teams, things like that. Scott says he agrees with me. Uh, go with, yeah, from India. Glad you're watching from and now the Philippines. Love you guys so much. Thank you for joining us. And again, if you're not subscribed to Hashtag Sports, be sure to do that. Hashtag Nation uh, all over this globe. And we really do appreciate you guys. Again, over 4,000 subscribers over the past, uh, I think it happened three weeks ago right here live on uh, one of my game streams. So really appreciate it. And thank you so much. Again, down below, we want to thank Mr. Rogers Holmes, sponsor of Hashtag Sports, associated with DeanBlendell.com. Also, Hashtag Sports 2022 charity is the Williams Syndrome Foundation. Any uh, super chat that you guys give during the season, during the regular season, and part of the postseason too, will go to that uh foundation so we really think about we really like appreciate that 
uh 4k baby 4k slam that like button absolutely guys as you come in here make sure you hit that thumbs up button as well again 15 minutes now from kickoff before kickoff i might leave and try to find my phone i might leave and try to find my phone i have some of you in here just tell people he'll be right back he has to find his phone before we do that i did want to talk about the inactives we talked about the inactives for the buffalo bills talk about john poyer travis white matt milano spencer brown and tommy sweeney inactive for the buffalo bills if you look at the new york new jersey jets today they're inactives tony adams cornerback Corey davis wide receiver Corey davis is just that guy that's always been around it seems like um joe flacco not worry about him again unfortunately bryce hall uh bryce hall inactive uh for the game today cornerback for the jets a running back was knight inactive and then jeremy ruckert uh, tight end is inactive for the game today. If you're not much uh, following the NFL or following the Jets, then uh, you know the one big injury you look at here is Bryce Hall, not the running back. Bryce Hall, Bryce Hall, cornerback, uh, big injury. Corey Davis, uh, you know, as a slot receiver, kind of a big guy uh, who could get the job done. But you know, they have some young wide receivers that are pretty good. Um, cornerback, as far as depth goes, with Bryce Hall being out, seeing Tony Adams inactive for them hurts them a little bit. Um, but yeah, Zanav and Knight, uh, the only reason why that hurts him is because of the depth that running back with the rookie being out, but you haven't heard much of him from, from him this season. Jeremy Rucker, again, not much out of him, much better blocking tight end. What I know about him than he is a pass catching tight end. Um, but those are the inactives for the New York Jets for the Buffalo Bills. Is Trey Wright going to play much today? He's not going to play at all. He is inactive. D. Robert comes in and says 35-17 Buffalo. Uh, D. Marlowe is active. In fact, let's go over the game day roster for the Buffalo Bills. That quarterback is always going to be the same. Well, at least we hope it's always the same. Number 17, Josh Allen. Number 18, Case Keenum is his backup. Offensive line, Mitch Morris, Bobby Hart, Ryan Bates, Dan Dawkins, Greg Van Rotten, Roger Saffold, and David Quisbey. These are all names you know. Justin Murray uh, is also being slotted in there as well as our eighth offensive lineman for this game. Running backs went through those. Naheem Hines just got from trade. Let's see how, how much action he sees today for the Buffalo Bills. Tamon Jones, Devin Singletary, James Cook, Reggie Gilliam. Quentin Morris and Dawson Knox are your tight ends today. Wide receivers, you got five of them. You got Khalil Shakir, Isaiah McKenzie, Gabe Davis, Stefan Diggs, and Jake Kumaro. On the edge, you got Von Miller, Greg Rousseau, Boogie Basham, and Japanese, Shaq Lawson. No surprises there. At the defensive tackle position, at Oliver, Jaquan Jones, Jordan Phillips, and Tim Sell. Tim Sell had a big game last week. Uh, we'd love to see him see his name more and more uh, as as the season progresses. Linebackers again, you have these linebackers have to step up in the absence of Matt Milano. So sad to see Matt Milano gone today. Might be a big impact on the middle of the field. Uh, but you look at Terrell Bernard, Tyler Matakovic, um, Tremaine Edmonds, Terrell Dotson, and ba Balin Specter. Don't know why names are hard today, um, but. Those are your linebacking crew uh, for today in the absence of Matt Milano. Defensive backs, you have Damar Hamlin, Jaquan Johnson, Teron Johnson, Kier Elam, Dean Jackson, Dean Marlowe in for the Buffalo Bills, Saran Neal, Cam Lewis, and Christian Benford. You know, it'll be interesting to see. I do expect to see more out of Dean Marlowe today than Naheem Hines just because Dean Marlowe has been here before, has, has a little bit of familiarity and comfortability with the Buffalo Bills traded from uh, the Bills trade with the Atlanta Falcons to get Marlowe back for a seventh-round pick. Happy to have Marlowe back at that price. I think Marlowe uh, is consistent, at least. You know, he's not going to be a Jordan Poirier, Mike Hyde type safety back there. He's not. Um, but he's going to give you consistency back there and hopefully stability back there as well. Specialists, obviously, those are all the same. Tyler Bass, Sam Martin, and Bree Ferguson as your long snapper. So that is the uh, the rock game day roster. Xavier Rhodes, he's solid. He should be on the 53 not on it today game day roster brought to you by buffalo bills pr on twitter if you're not following buffalo bills pr on twitter they have a, a lot of great stuff on there be sure to do that let them know that hashtag sports sent you as well i said gm was going to add a run back and a defense back why well, you weren't wrong you weren't wrong i i'm happy with the defensive back and, and knowing what we gave up for naheem hines i'm more than happy with it you've heard me scream on this stream for the past few weeks now that we need to get rid of zach moss that zach moss uh, need to be inactive if we have him on a team, and that's what the Buffalo Bills do. Naheem Hines, and I think it's a conditional fifth-round pick. And we don't know what those conditions are. I'm sure it has a lot to do with playing time. Um, so if you know, for both Naheem Hines and Zach Moss. Um, so you know, hopefully, hopefully it doesn't come down to that. If it does, it does. If it does, that means that good things are happening for either the Colts or for the Buffalo Bills or for both. And so uh, happy about that, and hopefully. 
those things continue if you are a Buffalo Bills fan. <laughs> yeah, Moss should never run the ball. And listen, just because we have Naheem Hines doesn't mean we need to go back to the uh, the, the H-back delay. Because it seemed like every time we ran a halfback delay, it was with Moss, right? So we set him up to fail because the halfback delay is the worst play in football. So, you know, when you run him on the worst play in football, bad things are going to happen. That's just the way it is because it's the worst play in football. So um, we'll see how he does in Indianapolis. I mean, hopefully we wish him nothing but the best in Indianapolis. We don't wish anyone any ill will here. Um, so, Zach Moss, thank you for your service. And uh, best of luck in future endeavors. Um, and unless you're playing the Buffalo Bills, of course, in which case – you can sit out that game. I don't care. Uh, but, again, though we talk about the inactives. Let's see how he does with Indy today, right? The Indianapolis Colts going against the Patriots today. He can have a great day today. We'd love to see that, to see him have a big day against the, the Patriots since the Patriots lose is never a bad thing. Remember back, James Cook was good last week. He was. James Cook was uh, was good last week. And let's see if he improves on that. Singletary obviously been carrying the – Brunt of the load so far for the season. I think that's going to continue. But yeah, if we can get James Cook up to speed before the playoffs, and you know when we got um, when we got Naheem, I also thought that as well. Like he uh, Naheem Hines is to me a, a older version of James Cook, maybe not as fast as James Cook, um, but there is definitely an element there in Hines' game. You know, catching out of the backfield, uh, you know, things like that. That I see similarities, and hopefully Naheem Hines can get more uh, James Cook as the season wears on. Rain and wind gusts up to 20 miles an hour. Let's hope for no turnover as well. Let's hope for no turnovers on one side of the ball, right? Um, you know, we, we won't mind seeing Zach Wilson having issues throwing the ball. But, yeah, we want Josh Allen. Luckily, we know that we have a quarterback who can zing it through the wind, basically, who could just put mustard on the ball. And, you know, my biggest concern is wide receivers dropping the ball more than it is um, – Josh Allen throwing interceptions because of the wind. We saw last week Josh Allen threw some interceptions because he was trying to make something happen. And anytime you do that, it can end in turnover. Two interceptions in the second half of last week's game. And again, that's just not good enough. That's not good enough to get the job done in most games. So we'll see uh, how he does, how he comes back from that. But who knows? Scott Vegas has got that thumbs up. Again, thank you so much, everyone, for joining us. Um, yeah, no, it doesn't hurt Josh Allen's ball. It doesn't hurt Josh Allen's ball. Um, we saw last year in the Patriots game when when there was th those wins on Sunday Night Football, Josh Allen st still threw the ball over 25 times. So I don't think Josh Allen's worried about throwing the ball. Again, just uh, bad decision-making. Uh, is Motor gone yet next year? Um, I don't think so. I don't think so. I think the trade of Moss kind of proves that. Uh, Motor's not going anywhere. I think Motor's going to stay. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Do you guys think Motor will be gone next year? Um, I'm still shell shocked about how awful Allen played in the second half. Really, the Buffalo Bills. I mean, I feel like the Buffalo Bills at halftime came out and just said, you know, we have this game well in hand. We're not going to worry too much about it. And um, you saw that play out on the field. And that's unfortunate because you want to see them always at their best. And they definitely were not at their best at certain times during last week's game. Um, obviously we want to see that improve. We want to see better from them. I'm still coming my phone, guys. I'm sorry. I'm, you know, you know how it is. You lost without your phone, right? Krabby Kale comes in with a $10 super chat. Thank you, Krabby Kale. Uh, thanks, Joe. Go hashtag, go bills. Absolutely. Krabby Kale, thank you so much for the $10 super chat. Again, all super chats going to be donated this year, uh, to the hashtag 2020 charity, which is the Williams syndrome foundation. So really do appreciate that. And hopefully you stick with us, Krabby Kale. We know that you've been a long time Hashtag Nation member. So hopefully you stick with us not only today, uh, but for hopefully years to come. And we can continue to grow Hashtag Nation. So we're five minutes away from kickoff. So I want to talk about my three keys to victory in this matchup. And Scott Blakely hit on one. When you see 20-mile-per-hour wind gusts, when you see sloppy conditions, obviously turnovers play a big factor. So no turnovers, or at least try to limit the turnovers. You had two interceptions, bad interceptions last week. From uh, from Josh Allen, you also you've seen all the running backs on the Buffalo Bills roster except for Hines. Now he he's new make poor decisions with football in their hands where they've let the ball hit the ground. Um, you don't want to see any of that. You don't want to see any of that. You want to make sure that the Buffalo Bills keep the ball keep the ball. Do not give the Jets extra possessions. Listen, I think that the Buffalo Bills are a superior team to the New York Jets. I really do. I think the Jets are are outplaying themselves at five and three, and that's okay. Sometimes you do that. With the first year we broke, with the year we broke the drought, nine and seven, we played better. Um, 
we played better than our record was better than our team was. Let me say that. Let me say that. I don't know if we were a playoff team uh, back then or not, but we made the playoffs, and that's all that matters. My second key to victory is get pressure on Zach Wilson. Zach Wilson does not do well under pressure, so let's make sure we get a lot of pressure. Uh, confidence is how we It is. It is. It absolutely is. And, you know, if you're not making mistakes, you comp- you feel confident in yourself, you can go a long way. And that's what the NFL is all about. Limit turnovers, limit, make few mistakes, and, you know, you can find yourself in ball games. So that's one thing that the Buffalo Bills – the New York Jets have done well this season, I should say. New head coach seems to be doing well as well. So good for them. Good for them finding a coach that does well. But Zach Wilson is not doing well under pressure. And that's why my second key to victory is to get a lot of pressure on Josh on, on uh, Wilson. We need Josh Allen to play more like Josh Allen. Second half was shaky last half. Yeah, no, we, we've talked about that. Yeah, absolutely. Buffalo Snowy says going for 34-14 but would like a 50 burger basically is what he's saying. Uh, I would love to see a 50 burger. I don't see it happening. I would bet the under if I bet bills games, but I normally don't. So uh, I would bet the under if I was betting on the bills, uh, the bills game today. I think it's at 48 and a half, something like that. I would definitely bet the under, um, but that's just me again with the conditions, all that um, would love to see it, but I just don't see it happening today. And then my third key to victory, my third key victory has to has to focus on those linebackers, okay? Because without Matt Milano, a that means we have to we have to make better tackling decisions, right? Matt Milano is normally a for sure tackler, right? And that's something we need to make sure we have. So don't miss on tackles. Do not leave the middle of the field wide open. This cannot be a game where where we allow Zach Wilson to find a comfort blanket over the middle of the field all game long. We need to play up on the receivers, and we need to make sure that. We don't, I don't. I don't think we'll see a lot of linebacker blitzes today, guys. I really don't because the injury of Matt Milano means that we have a whole new linebacking crew in there, and I think that they're going to want Tremaine Edmonds to come back a little bit more. We might see some safety blitzes, but again, with Dean Marlowe in there, I just don't know. So that makes my second point even more important. Our front four needs to get pressure on Zach Wilson because I just don't know if the Bills are going to be sending a lot of blitzes today. Now, Leslie Frazier has a way of proving proving people wrong, and that's the whole point of being a coordinator, right? When one person's thinking one thing, you got to make sure that you do the other. Benford struggles in cross routes. He absolutely does. He absolutely does. So that's something we have to look out for. So three keys to victory. One, don't turn the ball over. Two, get pressure on Zach Wilson. Maybe get pressure on Zach Wilson with the front four. And then number three, you want to make sure that those linebackers are, are playing good coverage and don't lose track of the, you know, your, your slot wide receiver, your tight end, whoever that might be. Don't lose track of them in the middle of the field because, you know, the Jets will eat us up all day in the middle of the field if they can get away with it. Um, and I just don't want to see that happen. So, those are my three keys to victory as it's getting near one o'clock here on the East Coast and we are getting close to kickoff. I still feel like I'm behind. You know how what, like when you start behind, you just never can catch up, right? When you start feeling like you're behind, just no matter what you do, you feel like you can't catch up. That's where I'm at right now. That is 100% where I'm at right now. Um, so I do apologize again. But the game's going to start. Let's have a good time. I think laying cross routes develop is scary. Thus, we send five more. Uh, this is TF. Well, again, if you send five, then you're, you're losing middle field a little bit more. So, yeah, you don't want them to develop. So it's always that fine line, right? You don't want long plays to develop. But at the same time, you don't want to lose coverage in the middle of the field. Uh, they're showing a picture right now of Zach Wilson and Josh Allen, who really needs to get rid of that mustache talking uh, in the middle of the field in pregame and, you know, I know Zach Wilson and Josh Allen are friends. Uh, Josh Allen, just make sure your mom doesn't meet Zach Wilson and you should be all right. Um, you know, I did actually, you know, it's it's a good thing this game's in New Jersey because the Buffalo Sabres brought their moms uh, in this week. Uh, and I got a little concerned. I was like, maybe the Buffalo Sabres don't want to bring their moms in this week if Zach Wilson's coming to town. But it's in New Jersey, so they didn't have to worry about that. Thank you, D-, D. Robert, for the comment. This is my favorite place to spend my, my Sunday afternoon. It, it's mine too. Win or lose, this is this is where I love to be on Sunday afternoons. Um, it's much better with the win, though, right? It's much better with the win. Good point about the moms. Yeah, I was worried about that. I was worried about that. Good to see you, Marissa. Uh, greetings, Bills Mafia. Good to see you in here as well. Um, 
Incredibles, Lopez, always good to have you in here as we get ready for the 1 o'clock kickoff between our Buffalo Bills and the New York, New Jersey Jets. Gave you my three keys to victory. Gave you the inactive sports days game. Let me run through the other game today. Again, six teams on by this week. So the action is limited. We already saw the Eagles uh, beat up on Houston on Thursday. 14-14 halftime. Got to give the Texans credit for trying to hang in there. Eagles are just too good. The Eagles are the only undefeated team. And, and I know a lot of people saying, well, they only beat one playoff team from last year. And that's the Cardinals. You're correct. But they also beat the Vikings. They've beaten the Cowboys. This is a good, dangerous Philadelphia Eagles team. You beat who you play. That's all you can do. You can only beat who you play. And the Eagles have had a decently tough schedule. Um, they've beaten teams winning records. They're a good team. And that's a team that if we see them in February, it's going to be dangerous. But you look at the rest of the week's games. You have the Chargers versus the Falcons coming up at 1 o'clock. Dolphins, Bears at 1 o'clock. Carolina, Cincinnati, Green Bay, Detroit, Las Vegas, Jacksonville, Indianapolis, New England, Buffalo, New York. Minnesota, Washington, those are your 1 o'clock games. Seattle, Arizona, L.A., Tampa Bay, those are your 4 o'clock games. And then tonight, Tennessee goes to Kansas City to play against the Chiefs. We'd love to see a Titans victory. Uh, but either way, both teams only two losses. It will help out the Bills in the standings. Then tomorrow, I think tomorrow should be a fun game. Baltimore Ravens, would love to see them lose because they're playing an NFC opponent. Again, you know how I feel about that. And that's how every. We'll see whatever conference that is. You want to be the last conference. All those the Ravens. We'll see what happens. I would love to uh, be able to watch the game, um, but you probably won't be able to. Roger Clark, good luck, Bills. Thanks for having us in. You are still one of the best teams in the NFL, right? The Vikings are still one of the best teams in the NFL. There's to me, there's no denying that. Um, you look at a team that's, you know, you say they're hot and cold. Well, they only have one loss. That seems pretty hot to me. And their one loss was against the Philadelphia Eagles. Now, that means nothing today. That means nothing. I'm not saying that they won't go into Washington and lay an egg. They very easily, very easily can. Washington's defense is no joke. And Washington's on a three-game winning streak themselves. In fact, if the Washington football team, Washington commanders, whatever they're called now, win today, um, every team in the AF and the NFC, the East will be above 500. The Bills are going to get the ball first once again. For me, my final score for this game is going to be 24 to 17 Buffalo. I think it's a one score game, one possession game, pretty much most of it. I'll be sweating it the whole time. Give me 24 17. The Bills win. A bad kickoff. I don't know if it was meant to be an onside kick. It looks like he, uh, the Jets, the Jets kicker slipped on the play as he was kicking it, and the Bills. With 14.58 to go in the first, get the ball, and they're going to be at the 45-yard line. I don't know if he slipped. I don't know what happened. Obviously, you hope he's okay. He didn't pull a hamstring or something. Yeah, his foot slipped, gave out underneath him, and then he kicked it off the side of his foot, and it's a ground ball uh, right up the middle, and the Bills jump on it at their own 45-yard line, and that's where the Bills are going to take over. So the Bills get the ball first and 10 at their own 45 to start things off, Josh Allen under center, single step back. It's Singletary back there, fake the hand off to him, looking to go long, does go long, has a guy open. That stinks inside the 20, inside the 15 already. Let's go, Buffalo. Bill's already inside the red zone, got the ball first, a bad kickoff. For the Jets, and now the Buffalo Bills inside the red zone. One completion to Stephon Diggs. And just like that, the Bills have the ball first and 10. Hey, Pierre, good to see you. Uh, sauce got cooked. That's what I like to see. Is Allen Gray's quarterback ever? No, of course not. Shotgun formation. Two wide receivers bottom screen. One to the top, to the top now with Shakir going in motion. Passes underneath the cook. Incomplete. Short hops him. And it's going to be second and 10 from 13-yard line. So, again, big start for the Buffalo Bills. Already have the ball second and 10 at the Jets' 13-yard line. Bills got the ball first. Their kicker kind of slipped on the play as he was trying to kick the ball. Allen under center. Two wide receivers to the bottom of the screen. It's Davis down at the bottom. And look, the throw throws interception. Throws interception. That was such a lazy pass.
such a lazy pass. And what could have been a great start for the Bills, just down the drains. Pass attempt for Knox. Whitehead, safety on the interception. And the Jets are going to take over. It was such a lazy pass, such a sidearm lazy pass. He clearly needs to get over the safety's head, and he can't do that. Just flicks it out there right to him, right to him. Wow. Wow. Changes the complexion of this game already. Already changes the complexion of this game. This is so ridiculous. First play from scrimmage for the Jets. Running play. It's a two-yard loss to Carter. Rousseau on the tackle. Already upsetting me. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. All right. Come on, defense. Second 14 from the 10. Shotgun formation for Wilson. Two high receivers to the bottom of the screen to the top. Running back to his right. Bill send four. Jets go deep. Incomplete. 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 <laughs> Mim is the intended target. It's going to be third and 14. Elam on the coverage. Marlowe is active. I'll have to see if he's in on the next play. But Marlowe is active. Yeah, me too. Me too. I don't get it. I don't get it. Last half. Start off this game. I just don't understand. A great pass to dig. Start things off and then... <laughs> You just don't understand. Excuse me, guys. Shotgun formation on third and 13. They are going to run the ball to the 15, to the 20. Good tackle there by Johnson. About a yard and a half. and be two yards short. Going to bring on the punt team from the 22. Too much there. Too much there. Wow, wow, wow. All right, so at least the defense forces the punt. So now both teams had the ball once. And it's still 0 0, 12 40 to go here in the first quarter. That's why a clean game from Allen Day. Well, it's too late for that. Sorry to say it's too late for that, but it's too late for that. Punts in the air. Big punt. Fielded at the 15. To the 20, to 25, 30. That is Keem Hines back there. Gets a good return to about the 32-yard line. Make an impact early, Buffalo. Good job. Way to come to this team. Make an impact. Yeah, it was such a bad interception. Scott, you have to, it was such a bad interception. There's no no ands of so what's about it. And it seems like a lot of Allen's interceptions are that way this this year. Um, just, just bad. Like that one last week where he was – Throwing it into the ground and just Alexander got got underneath it and was able to grab it. Inactive sports today's game for the Buffalo Bills: Jordan Poyer, Tre'Davious White, Matt Milano, Spence Brown, and Tommy Sweeney. Thumb up for the New York Jets. The Jets have quite a few inactives: Tony Adams, Bryce Hall, Corey Davis, Joe Flacco, Z Zonovan Knight, and then Jeremy Rucker, tight end. Those are the inactives for the Jets. Um, but yeah, the Buffalo Bills obviously gonna miss Milano and Poyer. Trey White close to coming back, unable to this week. Hopefully we see him next week. What is wrong with Josh? I don't think anything's like, I mean, quarterbacks go through slumps. I don't think anything's wrong with him. Um, you know, it's good to go through slumps while we're winning. Um, but if you take a look at if you take a look at the Bills red zone offense this season as a whole, really hasn't been the greatest, right? Really hasn't been the greatest. Um, and long averages also, also catches up. You eventually remember Josh Allen on that long streak to start his uh red zone trip season that we're showing all the time until he finally had one. Well, sooner or later, the law of averages catches up to you, and unfortunately, 
Uh, Josh Allen's, you know, making up for lost time when it comes to turnovers in the red zone. You hate to see it. You don't want to see it anymore. Um, but it, it, what can you do about it? Like, what can you do at this point? Josh Allen knows how to take the ball in the red zone. He knows he needs to be better. Yeah, all, all quarterbacks go through slumps. All quarterbacks go through slumps. It's the truth of the matter. You know, and again, it's nicer to go through slumps uh, when you're getting victories. And hopefully the slumps are over when it comes to the tough games in November, December, and also when it comes to the playoffs. So we'll see what happens moving forward. But again, 70 people in here. Make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Let's go through scores from around the league right now. The Vikings already up 7-0 over the Washington Commanders. The Bengals already up 7-0 over the Carolina Panthers. Those are the only scores of the 1 o'clock games. Again, seven 1 o'clock games today. Six 1 o'clock games today. Yeah, six 1 o'clock games today. Uh, six teams on by. Last time last time these two teams met where both teams were, were over 500 was 2011. That's crazy. That's crazy. Rex Ryan was the coach of the Jets. Jo Josh Allen, shotgun formation. 12 to only go in the first quarter. Starting from their own 32-yard line. Singletary gets a carry, maybe two yards on the play. That might be generous, though. And it's going to be second down and about nine, 12, 10 to go here in the first quarter. Singletary's first carry of the day. Who is replacing Milano? Uh, well, I think they're going to be, going to be uh, rotating players in to replace Milano. Uh, but if you look at the tight ends, I would say probably Dotson, for the most part, replacing Milano. Shot confirmation again, fakes the handoff, quick slot, slant pass is complete over the middle. Down to the 47-yard line. That's Diggs with his second catch of the day. Diggs got tackled hard on that one. A Jets player jumped on top of him late. I'm not, I'm not a fan of that. Um, but I got they, I mean they're not called Pally there. I like Dodson. I do too. I do too. No, I don't and he's no Milano, but I like him too. Allen in the center. Single set back. Two wide receivers bottom of the screen. Kumaro goes in motion. Fake the handoff. Allen looking to throw it. Throws it for Kumaro. Incomplete. Overthrows him. Well covered on the play. 11 04 to go in the first quarter. Still 0 0. Oh, I see. Ma Moss gone, yeah. Moss is gone. What wide receiver went to the Giants? Second 10 from 47. Shotgun formation. Pitch it to Singletary. Singletary cuts it inside, gets into Jets territory to about the 48. Good run there by Singletary. Good patience. Looking for his lane. Atlanta scored against the Chargers, so it's 7-0 Atlanta in that one. Hi, Mom. Diggs wants to burn the sauce today. He does, and he did on the first play of the game. So we got third and five. Hodgins went to the Giants. That's right. Shotgun formation. Five wide receivers set for Allen. Goes to the bottom where he has Singletary for easy five yards and more. Gets to about the 38-yard line. Good good play by Singletary. Good play by the Bills there. We had to draw that one up. Singletary at the bottom of the screen. Goes in motion. Goes uh, ahead of Davis at the snap, and then Davis can set a natural pick, and Singletary can get the easy out and the first down. Yeah, my car, it was a nice play for the first down. Shotgun formation, James Cook and Singletary in. Singletary to the left, Cook to the right. Cook does get the ball on a halfback delay. And he gets seven yards, but I still hate the halfback delay. They do like Kumaro. Cook gets seven yards. I still hate the halfback delay. Still hate it. No point in it. But we got seven yards, so it's going to be second and three. 
9.20 to go. Time out on the field. Looks like there's a Jets player on the knee. Jets player on the knee with 9.22 to go. Going to be second and four. They're going to give him six yards because it was a halfback delay. So we'll take a yard away because it's still a halfback delay and they stink. Could get a great one. Yeah, he did. It was a good, it was a good halfback delay. Good job. Yay, halfback delays. Yay, waiting two seconds to hand the ball off when you're already behind the line of scrimmage. Good job. Second and four, 922 to go. Injury timeout right now. Look at some scores from around the league as they tend to play on the field. The Vikings up 7-0 over the Washington Washington Commanders, right? I don't know what they're called anymore. But Dan Snyder's thinking about selling a team, so maybe we can actually have some uh, some legitimacy and ownership in Washington. But we'll never be that rich, so what do we care? Buffalo, New York Jets. Hey, do you all want to go? How many of you are in here? How many of you are in here right now? 71 of you in here right now. So if we all pitch in, I don't know, let's say one point. Eight million dollars, maybe we can get ourselves a football team. What do you think? Seems fair, right? I'm okay with that one. Yeah, maybe. I don't know how much Washington's probably worth a lot. So maybe maybe a little bit more, maybe like 2.5. I don't know. I don't know. Anyhow, the Washington commanders down seven nothing to the Minnesota Vikings. Bills Jets still scoreless. New England, Indianapolis still scoreless. The Colts have the ball there. Las Vegas and Jacksonville scoreless. The uh Raiders have the ball on that one. Green Bay, Detroit scoreless, and Cincinnati has a early 7-0 lead over the Carolina Panthers. So only two scores right now. Again, in this afternoon's games, you got Seattle, Arizona, Tampa Bay, LA. Tonight, Kansas City, Tennessee. That should be a good one. That should be a fun one to watch. And again, no matter who wins that game, it helps the Bills. I think a lot of Bills fans think that we want the Chiefs to win that one, and that's fine. I, I would cheer for Can uh, Tennessee. Or it doesn't matter. It just doesn't matter. Um, one team is going to lose. A tie would probably be the best case scenario for the Buffalo Bills. A tie would probably be the best case scenario for the Buffalo Bills. But we have a tiebreaker over both those teams. So it doesn't matter. Jeff, Jeff Bezos, let me just move some funds around. See, the way my checking account works out is that you got to move stuff from savings over to checking. So that way, <laughs> hi, Angel. Good to see you. Let's go, Buffalo. Good to see you. Stacks. Um, Jeff Bezos and was it someone else was with with him on that deal? I forget who it was. Uh, at an injury timeout right now uh, in in East Rutherford, New Jersey, where the New York Jets play. Always good to see you from Germany. Always good to see you from Germany. Uh, always enjoy watching. We have someone from India in here earlier, I think it was. Now, Germany, again, hashtag nation around the world. So make sure you hit that thumbs up button. A3 of you in here, really appreciate every single one of you being here. And the more of you get in here, the less we all have to spend, you know, individually have to spend to buy the Washington Commanders. Um, so that's always good news, right? If you let's get 100 some people in here, less money. Uh, second and four, back from commercial break, quick out pass to Knox, gets negative one yards on the play. So it's going to be third and five. Third and five, nine minutes to go. Very excited about one yard loss. Way to go, Williams. Good tackle. Good tackle. It was a good tackle. I'm not gonna lie. Sometimes I sometimes I find it ridiculous how excited uh players get for like plays that really uh feel singing forever to score. Well, good news is hopefully it just takes the Jets longer to score. 840 to go here in the first quarter. Both teams had the ball once. This is actually the Bills' second possession after Josh Allen interception in the red zone. Always hate hearing that. Those are words you don't want to say. Uh, but he threw another interception. Third and five, and going to keep it over the middle. Runs for a first down. Takes a hit harder than I want him to, but he does get six yards on third and five. It's going to be a first down Buffalo from the 31-yard line. Just have a good deed. No, they do. They do. In Italy, Italia at the moment. Never been to Italy. I always wanted to go. I mean, how it is. Same you see. Same you see. Maybe, maybe uh, if we all own Washington together, I'll take a trip out to Italy one of these times. You know what I mean? I'll, I'll be, I'll be like a, a good um, representation of the NFL as an owner and go to Italy and see if we can have games in Italy and maybe we can host one. Fakes handoff on first down. Sets up a screen. This is to Knox. Knox gets inside the twenty to about the fifteen yard line, close to another first down. Depends on the spot. If we buy the commanders, do we keep McKissick? Ooh, that's tough. That's tough. I don't think he, I don't think he's happy right now. I don't think he's happy right now. And we have to now. Or we're not gonna release him. 
So the trade deadline's over. We'll keep to the end of the season. Where are they marking it? Did they give him a first down? I think he got the first down. They no, they're saying second and one. Okay. Second and uh, inches. Second and inches, single set back, single terry back there. Three wide receivers to the top. Knox is also at the top. So you have three players who can go out and route. But now McKenzie goes in motion to the bottom of the screen, hands it off to Singletary inside the 15 to about the 12, who he's taken down hard by number 44. So it's going to be first and 10 from the 12 yard line. Just don't get another turnover. We're about a new gear. He now leads the team in rushing. Only took two, uh, what, week nine for someone other than Allen to lead the team in rushing. But uh, yeah, it's, it's uh, now Singletary. James Cook in the game. Well, Hines was in on special teams, um, and I was expecting to see more than that. Singletary and Cook in this game right now. Fakes the handoff, looking to throw, fumbles the ball, picks it up. He's going to take off with it, and he only loses two yards. That could have been a lot worse. But Allen loses the ball, picks it up, says, well, I got to run, and he loses two yards. Loses two yards on the play. Oh, his hand was hit on the play. Okay. At first, I thought he just dropped it. So his hand was hit as he's trying to throw the ball. And guys, if you think you're strong, just put, throw your hand back, have one hand on the ball, and have someone just come across and hit it and see if you hold on to a ball. doesn't matter how strong you are. The Bills have run 14 plays so far. The Jets, three. So controlling time possession with five and a half to go here in the first quarter. Second and 12, single set back. Allen under center. Hands the ball off to Singletary who might have gotten back to the original line of scrimmage. So it's going to be third and 10. Listen, Jets feel like a field goal here is a win. Miami 7, Chicago 3 in that game. Moster with a running touchdown. As a Jets player comes off injured, that's number 98. Looks like he's holding his hand. So you hope that he's all right. That's Sheldon Rankin's... Uh, Who came off the field? I think he's the one who got his hand on Allen, forcing that fumble. Third and 10. Shotgun formation, Allen looking to throw. He's going to take off over the middle to the 10, to the 5. Did he get in the end zone? He definitely got the first down. They're saying touchdown. Josh Allen, at this moment, a rushing touchdown. I'm going to say this is getting reviewed at least. Not sure if he got to the goal line or not, but he definitely got the first down. Definitely got the first down. Let's see if he gets in the end zone. I'm going to say he's short. I'm saying that he's short. Let me know what you think in the comment section. One, if you think he got a touchdown. Two, if you think he's short. I'll start things off here. Go two. 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 My cart says TD. Nope. See, they're saying it. See, get the offense back out there. See, see, Rufus, you know, you know what it is. You know what it is, guys. Hit that thumbs up button. He's first thing goal from the inch line. So you just run Josh Allen right up the middle, right? Run Josh Allen. Do not, if you go into shotgun, what something I like, dislike almost as much as the halfback delay, not as much as the halfback delay, but almost as much as the halfback delay is when you're at the goal line and you go into shotgun to run the ball. Why do you do that? Why, like, why would you do that? Instead of having to run the ball now one yard, you're going to run it four yards. Like, it, it makes no sense to me. But a lot of things don't make sense to me. And yet, it's, they still happen. So, he's down. The ball is not in the end zone. This time it is. Touched. I don't even know what happened. The Josh Allen is running up the middle. There you go. Right, a draw play. Shotgun draw. Josh Allen up middle. It's a touchdown. Give it to us anyway. Don't waste a possible challenge. I like that. 439 to go. The Bills score touchdown. Go up 6 0. Allen just follows Bates right into the end zone. And he's still standing as everyone's still bunching up. And he says, What are you all doing? I'm in. 14 plays, 67 yards, 7 minutes and 42 seconds off the clock. If Time possession was huge. Then we we are definitely controlling that at this point in the game. And time possession is always huge, right? Time possession is always huge. Get this Jets defense tired. 
X point's up. X point is good. 439 to go. The Bills now up 7 0. Bears of AJ Klein, 50 left. All right. So a long, long 14 play drive, a good drive out of the Buffalo Bills. Some negative plays thrown in there. Um, but again, the Jets do have a good defense. You expect, you hope to wear them down as the game goes on. Some other scores from around the league. Again, the Cincinnati Bengals still with that 7 nothing lead over the Carolina Panthers. Detroit Green Bay still scoreless in that one. The Las Vegas Raiders up 7 nothing over the Jacksonville Jaguars. The New England Patriots and Indianapolis Colts still 0-0 in that one as well. The Buffalo Bills Jets tied at 0. And the Minnesota Vikings up 7 nothing over That's the game I'm missing. Atlanta's up 7-0 over the Chargers and in the red zone once again. And Miami's up 7-3 over the Bears in that game. So those are the games from around the league. Again, the Bills just scored a touchdown to go up. Atlanta's up 10-0 on a kick field goal. Uh, Bills go up 7-0 on Josh Allen. QB run of one yard. Bates just made one of the better blocks I have seen in a while. Uh, Bates did a good job uh, pushing his guys. Joe, who would you rather take in the prime? Elway or Allen? Ooh. Ooh. That's a tough one. That's a tough one. No matter, Elway went to what? Five Super Bowls? Mm -mm. Three Super Bowls. Oh, went to three Super Bowls? Four Super Bowls? Five Bowls? Allen hasn't been to one. In their prime. Um, let me know in the comment section what you think. Elway or Allen? Allen definitely has a stronger arm. Allen's definitely more of a threat to take off. Is it possible that I could be very political in my answer and say Elway for his time and Allen for, for his time? Does that make sense? Um... I think overall I would take Allen just because he's a Buffalo Bill and Elway wasn't. Do you want know to take Josh Allen? Let me tell you why I would take Josh Allen. Let me tell you why. And I see D. Robert coming in and say Elway. Let me tell you why I would take Josh Allen. Because Josh Allen, when asked about being not being taken by the Giants, um, said there's only one New York team, right? Josh Allen showed his loyalty to Buffalo pretty much the moment he was drafted. Jen Elway was drafted by the Colts. And said, no, I don't want to play here. I'd rather play baseball. And forced the Colts to trade him to Denver so that they got something. And there's something to be said about that. One of the reasons why I never was a huge Eli Manning fan is because what he did on draft day. Bass kicks the ball off. Forcing his way to New York. It's going to be returnable from the two. I hate this camera angle. I can't see anything. To the 30, to the 35, to the 40, there's a flag down. Matakovic is yelling for a flag. It looks like he got one. Uh, Jets play goes down at the 45. What a terrible camera angle. Um, but Elway, can't write that book yet. Too soon, you're right. But Elway, you know, was drafted by a team and forced them to trade him because he wasn't happy, because he boo-hooed. Listen, in 2017, if you were drafted by the Buffalo Bills, you probably weren't happy about it. You probably weren't happy about it, right? Bills, a uh, 16 year playoff drought at that point. You know, Buffalo's not exactly the greatest weather in the world, but he didn't boo hoo. He said, he, he, you know, and Allen would not, Allen did not have the star power around him like Elway did or Eli did. So I understand that. But he didn't even, he came out and said he was, like, the day he was drafted, that day, he was interviewed after he was drafted and he showed nothing but happiness to be a Buffalo Bill. So the Jets are going to start at the 16-yard line after the penalty. Single single back set for the Jets. Wilson back to number 17. Missed tackle by Elam. Has to be cleaned up by Johnson and Johnson. Wilson gets a first down. Wilson to Wilson. A good game there. And it's going to be first and 10 at the 31-yard line for the Jets. Elam needs to make that tackle. Elam needs to make that tackle. Four minutes to go in the first quarter. Bills up 7 0.
Shotgun formation for Wilson. Run back to his left. He gets the ball. Runs up the middle. Missed tackle. Phillips misses a tackle. Edmonds in on the tackle on Hamlin. And he gets about six yards. Give me second and four. Phillips missed a the tackle there. Can't keep missing tackles, guys. Can't keep missing tackles. I talked about that earlier. Can't do it. Cannot do it. So second and three now. Pitch out. Gets the first down. Tackled there by Johnson. Personal foul face mask on Johnson on the tackle. So many missed tackle. Yeah, when we start with a missed tackle and now it's a penalty on top of that. So it's gonna be first and ten jets. Two fifty-five to go in the first quarter. Bills up seven nothing. Jets have the ball in Buffalo Bills territory at the forty-two yard line. Single back set for Wilson. Fakes the handoff, looking to throw. Sets up a screen to the tight end number eighty-seven. Come make that tackle. Good tackle. Game about five on the play. It's still not happy about that play, but Johnson in on tackle. Where's our defense all of a sudden? I think our defense is playing fine. Like, yeah, they're in they're in Buffalo Bills territory on their second possession, but a big penalty helps that get them in there. Two ten to go. Oh, here the Jets don't have a point on the board. Shotgun formation for Wilson. Number eight goes in motion, goes back behind. They are gonna run it. Run gets stuffed in the backfield. Edmonds, clean this up. Clean this up. So he loses maybe half a yard on the play, but he could have lost two or three. But because of his tackle, Edmonds got the tackle finally. But because of his tackling, he gets close to the line of scrimmage. Fumble time. We'll see. We'll see. I'll put this up here just in case. So it's me third about five. Let's see if it's fumble time. Let's see. One play, so this is it. DF says he feels fumble coming. Shotgun formation, four wide receiver set. A3 goes in motion to the bottom of the screen. So I have three wide receivers to the bottom of the screen. They try to run a screen play to number 17. He gets the catch, but taken down by Hamlin at the 35-yard line. So it's going to be short of a first down, third and about or fourth and about three now. With a minute to go in the first quarter. What do the Jets decide to do? Longer field goal, especially in these wind conditions. So you think they're going to have to go for it. I would say you have to go for it. Wilson's down. Oh, no. Oh, no. Zach Wilson's on the turf. He got hit by Phillips after he released the ball. And, we, and I, I said earlier that Flacco is inactive today. With Wilson being down, I think you have to at least try to kick a field goal. I think with Wilson being down on the like, you have to or even punt. I would punt it. I would do special teams. If the winds, if the winds against you right now, twenty mile power wind gusts, and you don't feel comfortable kicking a field goal, I understand that. But I would punt it. I would punt it because if you if you go for it on fourth and two. Fourth and three, whatever it is. The Bills are going to sell out on the run. Man coverage, sell out on the run. Then you have Mike White. Well, Flacco is inactive today, so it has to be White. It has to be White coming in. If you're a little, or the only option for the Jets. The Jets D is playing well. The Jets D is playing pretty well. 
I say that, and the Bills have already had two red zone trips, so, you know. But in fairness, the first one was pretty much one play, and, you know, the kicker didn't really help on the opening kickoff. At commercial break, as the, the Jets medical staff tends to Zach Wilson, who is down, unfortunately. I uh, don't like to see that. Atlanta's up 10-0 over the Chargers. The Bears just took a 10-7 lead over the Dolphins. The Bengals up 7-0 over Carolina with the ball in the red zone. Green Bay Detroit still scoreless. Las Vegas up 7-0 over Jacksonville. New England, Indianapolis still scoreless as well. The Bills up 7-0 over the Jets in this one. Minnesota up 7-0 over the Washington Commanders currently. All these games in the first quarter. Looks like the – nope, not all these games are not in the fourth quarter. Most Half of these are in the second. So Atlanta, L.A. is in the second quarter. Chicago, Miami is in the second quarter. Looks like Cincy Carolina has come back in the second quarter and Minnesota Washington also in the second quarter. So second quarter is getting underway in some places here. We got a minute plus to go in the first quarter injury timeout. Again, unfortunately, Zach Wilson injured and he was not getting up as we went to commercial break. Let's see if we're back from commercial break. If he got off the field under his own power, or if he needs help, it looks like they are going to send a field goal unit out there. Try to get points on the board. 53-yard field goal. Zach Wilson's on the sideline. Looks like he's feeling a little bit better, so that's good to see. That's good to see. 53-yard field goal attempt coming for the Jets. Snap is down. Kick is up. And the kick is good. 53-yard field goal with 31 seconds to go. And the Bills now up on the Jets, 7-3. to three. Gotta give credit where credit's due. A good kick by the Jets. What was with that camera? Yeah, some, they have had some camera angles I just don't like. They try to innovate things. They try to make things better. And sometimes they just make it worse. So... Close game so far, absolutely, absolutely. I, I I did not understand at all why the Bills had an eleven point spread in this game, like at all. Because it's a divisional game, it's on the road. There's no reason for it. No reason for it. But again, guys, thank you for joining me on this edition of Hashtag Sports. Hit that thumbs up button. Talk talk more about how much what would it, what would it would take. Um. What it would it take to become an owner of the commanders? You know, things like that. From each one of us. How much would you be willing to give up? Joey, don't clap on the jet score. You got to give credit where credit's due on a 53-yard field goal. And you also have to give credit to the defense for stopping them to a 53-yard field goal attempt. They made it. Okay. You know, we had a 15-yard penalty on that drive against us. So... And I clapped because it looked like Zach Wilson was also not – he was sitting up on his own power on the sidelines. Look like looks like he might be able to come back into this game. So not a serious injury. Always happy about that. Bills uh, – It was the kickoff was a touchback, so the Bills throw the ball first and 10 from their own 25-yard line. Trips to the bottom of the screen. Fake the stretch play to Cook. Cook's open. Cook's open. There you go. Get the ball. Cook in the flat. Cook gets about eight yards on first down. Allen was looking to go deep. Didn't have it. Check down to Cook. And that's going to take us to the second quarter, I think. 16 seconds to go in the quarter. They might line up like they might run a play, but I don't think they're going to. Unless, unless they get a free one from the Jets. 10 seconds, 9. 20, 20 seconds on the on the play clock. Yeah, they're not running a play. Five, five wide receivers, three at the top, two at the bottom. Because again, if, if the Jets if the Jets gave them a free play, they were just gonna take off and run run down the field. Uh, but no, no such luck. And at the end of the first quarter, the Buffalo Bills, uh, thank you, John. The Buffalo Bills lead the Jets seven to three. Again, there's a lot of reasons why I was clapping. Again, I don't want to see uh, Zach Wilson or anyone seriously injured. So we come back from commercial break. And I see Zach Wilson sitting up, you know, talking to um, talking to. The Jets coaches, not the map like that, uh, that he'll be back in this game, which is good. 
Uh, I hate seeing injuries, so I'm glad to see that. Um, we did stop them to a 53-yard field goal attempt. The fact they made it, good on them. And Joe's such a good sport. Yeah. Yeah, that's what you always say about me, Mom. Such a good sport. All right, end of the first quarter here in East Rutherford, and the Bills up 7-3. to Atlanta's up 10-0 on the Chargers. The Bears are up 10-7 on the Dolphins. Would love to see the Bears upset the Dolphins today. Would love to see that. Um, that would be huge for the Buffalo Bills. I know. Listen, if you're a Bills fan, if you're a Bills fan, you take care of your own business, right? We're two games up on everyone in the division. Take care of your own business. Don't worry about anybody else, and you shouldn't. But as fans, we can speculate. We can have fun. The Bears beating the Dolphins would be fun. The Cincinnati Bengals up 7-0 over the Panthers. The Green Bay uh, Packers have the ball, but that game is still 0-0 with two and a half to go in the first quarter. The Las Vegas Raiders up 7-0 over Jacksonville. They get ready to start the second quarter. Colts Patriots tied 0-0. Again, it'd be good to see the Colts beat the Patriots just for fun. And then the Bills up on the Jets. The Vikings still up 7-0 over the Washington football team. Those are the current one o'clock scores tonight, this afternoon. I should say you have Seattle at Arizona and you have LA at Tampa Bay. Game between LA and Tampa Bay, whoever loses that game is in big, big trouble. Big, big trouble, right? Like both teams are the, the LA Rams are three and four, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers are three and five. Like whoever loses that game is in big, big trouble. And then tonight, you have two five and two teams. Should be a four one tonight. Tennessee going up against KNC. Don't know how Tennessee is a double digit dog. Uh, I think KNC wins the game, but double digits, I think Tennessee's playing really well right now with King Henry back there. But we'll see what happens. We will see. We will see what happens. Don't understand it. Don't understand it. Okay, guys. End of the first quarter here. The Bills up on the Jets, 7-3. to three. Not to get Davis involved to me. I think Tua is the real deal. Very interesting uh, discussion, I think. I think that's a very interesting discussion as far as as we're back in the second quarter. I'll give my thought in a second. Runs with James Cook to the outside. Stays on his feet after he gets hit. Gets first down. Gets out of bounds. Game about five on the play. I that That's tough. That, that really is. Um, if he wasn't concussed all the time, and the, and the Dolphins didn't care about him. Uh, but Cook does get the first down. That's tough. That's really tough. Um, you know, you look at the Dolphins record at, with two as a starter. Primetime in Germany. Good to see that some primetime. First and 10 Buffalo now. 14 20 going in the second quarter. Bills have 123 total yards. Jets have 42. Shotgun formation. Allen over the middle. Incomplete. Good pass break up there. By number 57, Cook had both hands on it. Needs, needs to bring that in, if you ask me. Uh, but number 57 for the Jets, linebacker, did a great job breaking that one up. You know, Cook has both hands on it. Needs to bring that in. Secure the catch before you think about running. But that's C.J. Mosley. And, you know, C.J. Mosley is the real deal. Second and 10, shotgun formation. Cook to his left. Two wide receivers top of the screen. One, that's McKenzie at the bottom. McKenzie looked antsy. Ball over the middle. Incomplete intended for digs. So that's going to be third and ten. I don't know. Like, Allen does seem a little off today. He does. Looks like the Bengals just went up 14-0 over the Panthers after Joe Burrow runs in for a yard. Bengals 0-3 in the division. That's huge. That's so bad. And the Bills start off 0-3 against the division. I will not be happy. But we changed that today. We got our first win against the division today. Let's go. Third and 10 from the 38-yard line. Shotgun, five wide receiver set. And forced to roll out. Passes it under, over the middle. Incomplete intended for Davis. And the Bills will be forced to punt. Bills are forced to punt. There's another Jets injury. Wow.
Wow, I like to see you in that show. Hey, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not getting paid like they are. You should be up 14, stupid ints. Oh, the Jets did score a field goal after after a kickoff. So, I mean, I'll say we should be up 11. I mean, worst case scenario, we should be up seven, right? Ten to three. But it is what it is. It's what it is. I don't think you know to say the Bills should be up 14 is going to be no credit to the Jets at all. You know, the Jets could have stopped this inside the 20. The Jets scored after a kickoff. So, you know, again, I will say we should be up at least 10 to 3. At least 10 to 3. Davis with another drop. He's going to have him. He's going to have him. 88 of you in here. Make sure you hit that thumbs up button. I really do appreciate it. Again, if you're new to hashtag sports, all money donated through uh, super, or all money collected through Super Chats today. Uh, and the rest of the season will go to the Williams Syndrome Foundation. That's hashtag sports 2022 charity, uh, the Williams Syndrome Foundation. So make sure uh, if you want to give some something to charity, always helps out. We appreciate it. Um, and again, uh, hashtag sports sponsored by Mr. Rogers Holmes. We want to thank Mr. Rogers Holmes for all he has done in sponsoring hashtag sports in association with DeanBlendell.com. His information is in the description below so make sure you check out the website all that good stuff we need to clean up mistakes in the red zone that's about that's what i've been saying a lot this season you know you go back to a chiefs game you go back to a few games this year last week obviously against the packers we need to clean up in the red zone and last up 10 nothing over the chargers the miami dolphins have taken a 14 10 lead over the chicago bears the cincinnati Bengals are up 14 nothing over the carolina panthers the detroit lions have the ball in a scoreless game against the Green Bay Packers, the Las Vegas Raiders up 10-0 over the Jacksonville Jaguars. The New England Patriots have gone up 3-0 over the Indianapolis Colts. The Buffalo Bills up 7-3 over the Jets. The Minnesota Vikings up 7-0 over the Washington Commanders. Those are the scores from around the league. Again, coming back from this game, the Jet, the Bills will be forced to punt. Unfortunately, another Jets player down. This is the third time we've had a stoppage in play due to a Jets injury. Um, obviously, the one for Zach Wilson. See if he'll come back out. When the Bills get the ball, you know, when the Jets get the ball again, is Atlanta good? Who is good in the NFC? Like, who is good in the NFC? I don't know. I think the Chargers are – I think a lot of teams in the AFC West were overhyped. And I was part of it. I'm not saying I didn't overhype them too. But the way it's coming, the Raiders were definitely overhyped. Russell Wilson, bum. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, 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 bum. Chargers struggling. The Chiefs are still the Chiefs. But yeah. So the Bills will be forced to punt here. Martin comes in. Punt from the Buffalo Bills, 38 yard line. Oh, come on. Snap the ball. Get a free punt out of it. I don't care. Jets jumped. We're able to get back. Ball goes into the end zone. It's going to be a touchback. Listen, if you are the – and maybe you didn't see it. Maybe you didn't see it. That's fine. But if you are the snapper, if you're a Reed Ferguson in that situation, you see a Jets player jump, just snap the ball. Who cares what happens? Tell Sam Martin, run. Run. Run, Forrest. Run. Get the free five yards. In that situation, it wouldn't have mattered. It would have been fourth and five. But still, free five yards. Better chance at land a punt inside the 10 or something. I don't know. Shoot. And if you like the punt anyway, you stick with the punt, right? If you like the punt, okay. But with, with it being a touchback, you're saying, let's do it again. Let's do it again. Seven three, Bills up, 13.51 to go. Does look like Wilson's back out there. Run back to his right. Quick pass out to a wide open jet in the slot. It's number 17. I think. Oh, don't get the flag. Don't get a flag. Wilson just falls down to the ground and, and there's no need. Well, I don't want to see a leg injury. I don't want to see these injuries. Why do people always show? Why do they feel like they have to replay injuries? They don't. They don't. I don't care. 
I mean, I only care that he gets better. I don't care how he got hurt. Single back set. Wilson under center. They pitch it on second and three. First down. Big run down the sideline. Oliver finally comes and cleans it up into Buffalo Bills territory. It's about the 48-yard line. It's going to be a slugfest, and we don't like that. It's amazing how many old school Bills fans are down there in Florida. Bills Mafia is everywhere. Everywhere. Tell you, being out really hurts Buffalo. You know, Johnson tries to make a tackle there, unable to. Might have given him an extra 15 if he makes that tackle because it might have been a horse collar. Don't know. Zach Wilson on our side once again. Another pitch out to the right. Game about four. Four side of bounds. It's going to be second and six. 12-13 to go in the first half. Bills up on the Jets. I'm thinking, remember the Jets do get the ball started in the second half. Second and five. They're just showing Matt LaFleur right now. They're showing the offensive coordinator of the Jets. Why? I don't know. Shotgun formation. Two wide receivers to the top of the screen, one to the bottom. They run it. They pass it to the running back, who is behind the line of scrimmage. But Edmonds gets there. Good job. Good pursuit by Edmonds and others. It's a two-yard loss. It's going to be third and seven. Big third down right here if you're the Buffalo Bills defense. Get off the field. Get off the field. I hear my phone. I just don't see it anywhere. It's a shame. Shame, shame, shame. Buzz, buzz, buzz. So people are trying to contact me. But they know it's a Bills game, so they understand. Chargers have scored a touchdown, so it's 10 7 in that one. Third time, big third down. Let's go. Get off the field. Let's go. From the 45. Two wide receivers to the bottom of the screen, one to the top. Tyan goes in motion to the top of the screen as well, so he can go out for a pass. Bills send four. Pass high, incomplete. Fourth and seven. <laughs> Bernard on the coverage. If that pass is on the receiver, he probably has a catch on the first down. He probably has a first down. But high pass to Mims. And Johnson's there on the coverage. My bad. Johnson's there on the coverage. Cleaned up. So punt unit comes out. Bills look like they're going to send everyone on the punt block. Unable to get there. Fair catch called for and caught at the seven-yard line. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. That's where Allen and the Bills will take over. See, I don't think this run defense is bad. I really don't. I mean, they looked bad in the second half last week against the Packers, and they, they haven't looked great in the first half here. Um, but going into last week's game, they've allowed, what, 70 yards on the ground per game, and that's against the Baltimore Ravens team. That's against the Titans. That's against some pretty good – uh, run first type teams. Davis has to do something. He's our number two. So plenty of time left. Plenty of time left. I don't know. You know, I, I remember what, what week was that? Someone, some NFL analyst, right before Bills game, said that. Was it Shannon? I don't know, but anyhow, it might be Shannon Sharp on this feud. Said that Gabe Davis was going to be other teams once, and I just did not agree with that. I did not agree with that at all. Um, I think he's at best a two, personally. But that's just me. That's just me. Bill's got the ball at the seven-yard line. Scores from around the league. I can get into that a little bit as we have, I don't know, about 12 minutes, 10 minutes to go in the third quarter, second quarter, I mean. So the Chargers did score. It's 10-7 Atlanta over L.A. The Dolphins now up 21-10 over the Bears. The Bengals up 14-0 over the Panthers still. Green Bay and Detroit, you guessed it, scoreless. The Raiders are up 17-0 over Jacksonville. The Raiders looking for another shutout. They already have one this year against the Saints. I think it was last week even. New England now up 6-0 over the Colts. 
Buffalo up 7-3, and Minnesota still up 7-0 over the Washington football team, Washington Commanders, Washington, whatever you want to call them. So question is, when Bezos or whoever owns the Washington football team, Washington Commanders, Washington, whatever, do they change them again? Miami ran away with the game. It's 21-10. I don't know if they ran away with it. It's 21-10. Do they have the ball in the red zone? No. Things that, like, it's the Bears. I don't expect them to come back or nothing like that. I'm not saying that, but it's 21-10. Like, it's not over. I don't think the Bills come into this game thinking they already had a one. I really don't. Oh, one one against the division. They knew the importance of this game. I think they knew the importance of this game. I think, you know, Scott, you said in the pregame, confidence is is a very dangerous drug. <laughs> uh, and the Jets have a lot of confidence right now. The Jets have a lot of confidence right now. And the Bills are missing some key pieces, including Poyer and Milano on defense. Halfback delay. Goes for three yards. Oh, my gosh. Second half back delay, half back delay for the Buffalo Bills today. And between the two of them, they got 10 yards. So you think I'd be happy, but I'm not. I'm just not. A half back delay could go for 90 yards. I still probably won't be happy that we call it a half back delay. The dumbest play in football. <laughs> 21 points is a lot for the Bears. Shotgun formation. And throws a wide receiver screen. Singletary able to keep in bounce and get four or five yards. Good job by Singletary staying in bounce. It's going to be third and about two. Good job by Singletary. Looked like he might have gone down in the backfield or got pushed out of bounds in the backfield, but he was able to break a tackle there by number 56. And he's able to pick up positive yards. So I think that's really just a good job by Singletary. Third and three. 9.45 to go in the second quarter. They're taking away the big plays. That's what God do against teams like Bills and Chiefs and teams that love the big play. They did on the first play of the game. First play of the game was a big play to Diggs. Shotgun formation, two wide receivers top of the screen, two to the bottom. Slant route, two Diggs, gets the first down. Let them take away the big plays. Let the, Bill, the Bills can beat you. The Bills can beat you just going downfield. Just slowly, methodically going downfield. That's what makes this team so dangerous. Shotgun formation, two wide receivers top of the screen, one to the bottom. Singletary, two Allen's left. The bill is going left to right on your screen. Morris is in as well. Look, Mitch Morris is, or not more. Yeah, Quentin Morris, not Mitch Morris. Nice catch by Diggs. Diggs, really the only offensive weapon for the Bills as far as receivers go in this game so far. That's Diggs' fourth catch, and it's a 14-yard gain out of bounds. Four catches for Diggs for 14 yards. Reiki play alive, get open for his, team, for his uh, quarterback. Shotgun formation, two wide receivers to the top of the screen, one to the bottom. Singletary to the left of Josh Allen. Quentin now he moves to the right. Quentin Morris also back there. They're going to run it this time. Another halfback delay, another three yards. Another halfback delay, another three yards. Cincinnati just scored on Joe Mixon, three-yard touchdown run. So it's now 21-0 Bengals. Shotgun formation, second and six. Two wide receivers top of the screen. You got Diggs on the bottom. Quentin Morris on the bottom of the line to the right side. Singletary to the right of Josh Allen on second and six. Diggs with the catch. Diggs stays in bounds. And he's out of bounds. Big play by Diggs. That coach needs to be careful. He was running back in the Heem Hines. Again, I would expect him only on special teams in this game. He's only been with the team for a week. Who is that? Who is running with Diggs on the sideline, though? Who is that running with Diggs on the sideline? White beard. He needs to be careful. <laughs> He's getting close. He's getting close to the field, man. Just needs to be careful. Yeah, I mean, as far as wide receivers go, Diggs is the only one doing anything. Five catches now for 93 yards. Fake the handoff. Pass over the middle is incomplete. 
McKenzie might have a, had a shot on it. I think he had both hands on it, but incomplete, falls incomplete. So McKenzie has a drop. Davis has a drop. Allen is 10 of 17. Five of those have gone to Diggs. I think at least two of them have gone to Singletary, one to Cook, just not one to Knox. So, yeah. Bills have completely controlled time possession. Shotgun formation on second and 10 in Jets territory. Pump fake. Throws it out. Nice catch. Good concentration by Singletary. And it's an eight-yard gain. Good catch there by the running back. Seven minutes to go in the first half. Bills up seven to three. Allen trying to hurry it up a little bit. Good catch by Singletary. Nice concentration. He does. I'm not saying Hines doesn't add speed, but he just doesn't know the playbook yet. You don't want someone out there who has no clue what he's doing. We saw his speed on display on that first punt. Allen going to roll out to the right. He has room. He has a touchdown. No one's there. No one's there. No one is there. I don't know if Ken Dorsey saw something by this Jets defense, but you had everyone... You had everyone on the right side. You had Singletary going motion to the right. I mean, Mitch Morse is running, and he is no one to block. Mitch Morse, Morse flanks to the left, and he has nobody to block. There's nobody there. A free 30-yard touchdown by Josh Allen and this Buffalo Bills team. It's now 13-3. to The Bills are up. X points up. X point is good. So with 6.30 to go in the first half, the Buffalo Bills now have a 14-3 lead over the New York, New Jersey Jets. Great job there. I mean, I mean, that was a great play call. That was a great play call. You got to give Ken Dorsey the crowd in that one. He, saw, he had to see something from this Jets defense and say, we can take advantage of that. Whether he saw that on this drive or he saw it earlier, yeah, Dorsey saw something there. I mean, wide open field. I love every second of it. Bills now up 14-3. Give us that little bit of a cushion, right? But remember, Jets get the ball to start second half. Still got six and a half minutes here. They score here. It's still a one possession game. And then we go into a halftime like that. Is what it is, right? What can you do? The Atlanta Falcons up 10-7 over the Los Angeles Chargers. The Miami Dolphins up 21-10 over the Bears. The Bears threw the ball in the red zone. Cincinnati is now up 21 0 over Carolina. Green Bay and Detroit, surprise, surprise, still scoreless with four minutes to go in the first half. The Raiders are up 17 0 over Jacksonville. However, Jacksonville does have the ball in the red zone. New England is now up 13 0 over the Colts. The Bills up 14 3 over the Jets. And Minnesota still up 7 0 over what? It seems like Minnesota scored really quick in that game to go up 7 0. And then since then, it's been 7 0. So. Still 7-0 in that game there. Again, some of the games later today, you got the Seattle Seahawks going against the Arizona Cardinals. Uh, divisional matchup in Arizona should be a decent one. Uh, and then you got the LA Rams going against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Again, big game for both those teams in Tampa Bay. Tonight, Tennessee, Kansas City should be a good one. If you're a fan of the Buffalo Bills, that's very important to you. That's a very important game. That could decide, hopefully, that could decide the number two seed in the AFC playoff picture. Um, but if the Bills keep doing what they're doing today, and the rest of the season, hopefully we will not have to worry about who the number one seed is the rest of the year. Not saying we're not going to lose any more games. I think we lose two more games this season, um, finish 14 and three. And so we need Tennessee and KC combined to both lose one. And one of those teams is probably going to lose one today. So that's how I see the season playing out. Again, injuries can impact that. Obviously, still a long way to go. Gabriel Davis really needs to step up going forward if he's going to be our number two. He's been inconsistent. I mean, what you he's a second year guy. Like I I, I agree with you. I 100 percent agree with you. I, I really do. Um, but we kind of the Bills kind of like pushed Gabe Davis to be the number two guy. And then we also waited against Kansas City in the uh championship game two years ago, and all of a sudden, so three year guys, sorry. And, and that's what we wanted to see again, right? Or no, last year, right? 
when he had four touchdowns. Um, and and so that's all of a sudden kickoff going in the air into the end zone, gonna be a touchback. So we kind of pushed him into that number two spot. But let's be honest, OBJ comes on this team. OBJ comes becomes our number two, and Gabe Davis then becomes our number three, or you know, switches off with Odell at number two. So, you know, I'm not too worried about that. Ran in himself. Yes, he did. Uh, Allen, I mean, there was no one there. There was literally no one there. Number one got blocked on the outside by 76. And after that, it was just Allen's gone. 630 to go. Jets off on their own 25-yard line. Three wide receiver set. Two to the bottom of the screen. One to the top. Moving from right to the left. Run back to his left. Fakes the handoff. Quick pass is completed for nine yards. Gang tackled there by a bunch of Bills. It's number 17 for the Jets on the catch. That's Garrett Wilson. He's having a decent day so far. He has four catches for 33 yards. Shotgun formation again. Two hours series top of the screen. This time they do run the ball. Got to make those tackles. Not sure if he got the first down. Might be third and short. Where does the ref mark it? The ref gives him the first down. That's a good spot, but it's going to be first and 10. Dodson finally cleans up. Please, INT. Please, INT. So it's first and 10 Jets. I don't know if he got the first down there, but... Oh, no, they didn't give it to him. Good, 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 good. Third and inches. Good, good, good. Well, he calls for a fumble earlier that didn't happen. Let's see if we get the INT now. You owe us one. DF, you owe us one. So shotgun formation on third and one. Heavy run formation. As the Jets have seven guys on the line of scrimmage. There's a challenge flag down. Ugh, bad challenge by the Jets here. I'm not saying they're going to win or lose. I'm not saying they're going to win. We need a sack lunch, maybe. I'm not saying they're going to win or lose this challenge, but spot challenges are the toughest to overturn. Spot challenges are the toughest to overturn. He's going to be short of the... What is that? The 35. He's going to be short of the 35, which means he's short of the first down. Because they start with the ball at 25 with the touchback. But so I, I think that's that's a bad challenge by the Jets. You're going to lose a timeout, probably, in my opinion. And you're going to lose a challenge, in my opinion. But that's in my opinion. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Do you think got the first down? Yeah, right. Like, spin. You're right. So they started at the 25, which means the tip of the ball started at the 25. So they have to get the tip of the ball to the 35. But I mean, we, we, see his, we see his foot go past that yellow line, but we never see the ball go past the yellow line. I know the yellow line's unofficial. I get all that. But that, and that's why, like, these camera angles, as we talked about earlier, are so bad. Or, like, maybe not bad, but it's just not – it's not a playoff game. It's not like we have 20 of them, right? We have one overhead. They're, but they're not pointed exactly at the same yard line that the running back or the, or the ball carrier is. So, one, in the comment, if you think it's a first down. Two, if you say, no, I think they got right on the field. I think they got right on the field. So, I'll start us off again with a two. I don't know what you guys think. Stacks and D-Rob come with a two as well. Offense is fine. Gabe Davis is fine. The covering of our receivers, so we need to run. Scott Frazier says two. Well, I mean, in fairness, you can't. When, when, yeah, when Gabe Davis is not getting targeted, it's not Gabe Davis's fault that he's not catching the ball. Like, he, he's been targeted one time, and he, yeah, he has a drop, or maybe twice. Yeah, he'll be out of it. Well, that's because you still always an interception or a fumble. You still always turnover DF, so I'm, whatever. TD Bears? Let's see. They're still reviewing it. It's a long review. 
He's taking the headset off now. Like, I just don't think he got there. At one, I don't know. I just don't think he got there. So the Bears are now down 21-17. Call stands because it has to. It has to. It's it's a, The spot challenges are the hardest ones. 10-7 Atlanta over LA. Chicago now trailing 21-17. Cincinnati up 28-0. You'll be shocked by this, but Green Bay Detroit still scoreless. Las Vegas up 17-7 over the Jacksonville Jaguars. Uh, New England up 13-0. The Jets trailing 14-3. And Minnesota again, shocker, still up seven nothing over Washington. Same old, same old. The more thing, the more things change, the more things stay the same. Third and one, they're gonna run up the middle. Run a quarterback, sneak up the middle. It's the smartest play here, and he doesn't get it. He doesn't get it. Oh, they gave him a great spot. What a great spot! They're telling him move the chains. Wow, what a great spot. Fumble and interception over to us. Wow. And wants it all. I did not think he got that on the first surge. At what point? If I'm McDermott, I know what I just said about spot, spot uh, spots and challenges and stuff. That wow, you feel like you feel like you he, you you guys owed him one? Wow, okay. Okay, like if I'm McDermott, I'm throwing a challenge flag on that one. But if, if they're doing it to get the Jets off their back, then Zach Wilson back to pass. He has to short hop it as he's under pressure. Look at like the Bills player was down almost in the fetal position. So I'm going to make sure he gets up okay before I say much more. No, he, he wasn't okay. And I'm not laughing because it's a good thing. Uh, Johnson's down. Teron Johnson is down. I saw him down on the field, and I was worried the moment I saw him down. I was, he's down in the fetal position almost. Ugh. Run back, clips him low. It's his leg. He's on a knee now. Get up. Get up. Please get up. We cannot handle many more injuries to the secondary, guys. 424 to go in the first half. We just can't handle much more of this going on with the secondary. Just can't. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. He's walking off on his own. <laughs> walking off on his own, so it's going to be second and ten. We need Trey back. Hopefully next week. He's on the 53-man roster now, so hopefully next week he's back. 14-3 Buffalo. Solid lead. It's forced a punt here. Maybe the Bills can run a two-minute drill and get another score before halftime. Yeah. Yep. Chop blocks are legal inside the blocking zone. That was short. It absolutely was. I 100% agree. Second and 10, shotgun formation. Bills look like they're signing a blitz from the outside. Bills do run a safety blitz. Wide open in the middle of the field, though. Number 17 with the catch. It's Wilson again. Getting into Bill's territory. The Jets saw that blitz coming and beat it to the 41-yard line. And it's first 10 Jets into Buffalo Bills territory. Four minutes to go. Wow. Siren Neal got beat on that play. Bad. Wilson, like I said, Wilson having a good day. That's five catches for 57 yards. Shotgun formation for the Jets. Two wide receivers bottom of the screen, one to the top. Tight end also to the top of the screen. Run back to his right. Run it. Goes nowhere. Maybe a gain of one. Good job. 33 is Saran Neal. If you're going to sound safe, you don't make it obvious. But I think he was trying to read the snap count, and I think he was wrong. That's the problem. I don't think they were trying to make it obvious. But, yeah, 33 is Saran Neal. That's why I say he got, he got beat on that play. Wow, Stemming says he smells an interception, too. Lots of people sniffing turnovers. Second nine, three minutes to go. Should we all get pressure before? Well, Wilson's been down a few times, just not getting sacks. Quick pass out to Wilson again. Gets to 32. It's going to be third and one. 
Uh, Washington scored. It's 7-3. to three. The, the score can change. LA's up 14-10 over Atlanta now. That game looks like it's close to halftime. This game at the three-minute mark in the first half. Three wide receivers to the bottom of the screen for Zach Wilson. Hands the ball off. Short. It's going to be fourth down. Fourth and a long one. Maybe even two. He might have lost a full yard in that play. Fourth and two now. They're going to take it to a two-minute warning and then decide what to do, right? Put points on the board. I think. I mean, I think you put points on the board. They're running hurry up, acting like they're going to quickly snap it. But you take it to a two-minute warning. Don't be dumb. But at the same time, so here's – I get why teams hurry up to the last scrimmage like they might snap the ball. And the Bills actually last year did one time. And that's the key too. Every once in a while, you have to actually do it. But you can't hurry up to the last scrimmage and then have your quarterback pretending to audible and not even be under center – as the clock's at like 203, 202, 201. And then you can't do that because the defense knows you're not snapping the ball with the quarterback not ready. Like, we, you know. So, I mean, I get why they do it. It's fine. It's better than doing nothing. But at the same time, if you're going to pretend like you're snapping the ball, at least pretend like you're about to snap the ball. So, but I'm okay with that. Fourth and two. Let me know in the comment section if you would go for the field goal here. Get, take the points. I think you take the points. If you take the points here, it's still one possession game inside two minutes. If you take the points here, it's still one possession game inside two minutes in the first half. You get the ball to start the second half. I try to take the points. That's my opinion. Uh, let me know if you disagree in the comment section. It's fourth and a long one yard. Um, if what happened to Zach Wilson, well, last time he didn't get the first down either, but they gave it to him. So if they're just giving it, Jets need to go for it, you think? I don't know. I don't know. I said, what did I say? 24-17, I think was my score prediction. No, no, DF. No, I'm, I'm not hoping. They, no, I think the smart play is points here. You know, I, I recently tweeted something out that said, you know, I, I don't care about analytics. Points matter. I don't care about what the analytics say. Points matter. You saw what happened to the Jets on the last QB sneak. They didn't get the first down. It was fourth and one, fourth and a short one. The, the officials gave it to them. The officials gave it to them. So what are you going to do here? And if you don't get it, now you're giving the Bills really good field position at the 32. No, it would be at the 40, actually. They will go for it, in my opinion, says Scott. Okay. Well, we're about to see because we're back to commercial break. You know, if they don't score here and the Bills score on the other side of this before halftime, that's game. That's, in my opinion, that's game. But if they score here. Oh. I think the smart play is kicking the field goal, but. You can't win with field goals, you know, touchdowns beat field goals, so I understand. They go for it, wide open tight end, play action, gets the first down easily. Johnson on the tackle. All right, let's see what happens. 145 to go. Yeah, but spin, but you can say the same thing if they didn't, if they didn't get the first if they didn't get the first down here. Then it's negative three points if we get a field goal, negative seven if we got the touchdown. 130 to go now, 14 to three. Jets have the ball inside the Bills 30 yard line. Bill center center. Hey Amy, how you doing? Good to see you. Does give the Jets more time for a turnover, as some of you seem to be calling for. And off. Has a lane, gets to inside the 25 to the 23 Edmonds and, and others on the tackle. Looks like Dane, Dane Jackson was in on tackle as well. So it's going to be second and about five. Minute to go now in the first half. They're running out of time. They're, they're letting themselves run out of time. They're trying not to give Allen time, but they're running out of time themselves. I'm going to throw short over the middle. Gets the first down to about the 16. 
before we stop there. So 45 seconds to go. I'm going to jet some calling a timeout here. You have two timeouts. They do. 43 seconds on the clock. We need a turnover. Would love a turnover. Would love a turnover. Yeah, behind the make plays. Fourteen points per game allowed by the Buffalo Bills defense so far this year. Ellington is two for seven. The Colts are so bad. How is how is how is changing quarterback a move for Ellington when he's that bad? They won't let Wilson throw here. Who won't let, let him throw here? 42 seconds to go. You have to start throwing at some point. Wilson is 5 for 6 on this drive for 53 yards. Shotgun formation. Throwing it here on first down. Throws a screen pass. Almost blown up. Gets Edmonds. Edmonds misses a tackle. It's another first down. It's going to be first and goal. Stop missing tackles. Hamlin forces him out of bounds. 35 seconds to go. Clock stopped because he got out of bounds. Like, looks like the Jets might score a touchdown before the end of half. Good for them. And the Jets will get the ball to start the second half, too. So it's first and goal Jets from the six. Three wide receivers to the bottom of the screen. They're going to run it here on first down, I think. Get Wilson in the slot. They run it on first down, and he's in the end zone untouched. That's Carter getting the, getting the touchdown. Wow. Untouched. And the Jets pull within five, extra point pending. Okay. I'm just going to say okay. I, I just have nothing to say. I really don't. X points up, X points good. So with 32 seconds to go in the first half, the Bills have a 14-10 lead. The overrated bums have a four, the six and one overrated bums have a four-point lead on the road in a divisional matchup against a five and three team. Bums. With two of their star defensive players out. Bums. Bums, bums, bums. Imagine if the imagine if the five and three team actually isn't that bad. Bums. Bums, bums, bums. Actually, three of our because Hyde isn't inactive. He's just out for the season. So, but no time for excuses. We're still winning. Bums. Yeah. Yeah, I will admit the tackling has been bad. The tackling has been bad. All right, 32 seconds to go in the first half. But I'm not going to sit here and say they're bums or that we're overrated like last year. We're six and one. We're being a division team on the road. Like that's pretty dang good. Ball goes into the end zone. It's going to be a touchback. Bill start with the ball at the 25 yard line. See so what the Bills decide to do here if they decide to try to score. Is it 38 points scored and foul two minutes of the first half this season? That's the most in the NFL. It's how explosive this offense can be at times. Shotgun formation. So it looks like we're going to try to score. Four wide receivers to the bottom of the screen. You rarely see this. Allen rolls to the right, looking downfield. Throwing it across his body to Davis with the catch. Timeout at the 41. Timeout at the 40. Timeout. Timeout. Don't need to hurry. You have three timeouts. 23 seconds to go. Let's get the ball to the 40-yard line. Hopefully that was actually a catch. Hopefully that was actually a catch. 
I'm pretty sure it was, or else they already be showing replays. But let's get the ball to the 40. And see if we can get some points before halftime. Davis with the catch, right? He has both hands underneath it when he's coming up. So it looks like he has a catch. Amy says, TD before half. Listen, I'm happy with a field goal before half. You know, the Jets have done a good job so far taking that big play away, right? We had that one. The first play of the game was a big play to Diggs. But other than that, Jets have done a pretty good job taking that big play away. Shotgun formation, two, two wide receivers top of the screen, one to the bottom. Cook in the backfield with Allen. With the catch, that's Knox. Another timeout into Jets territory to the 44. So pretty much in field, field goal range for Tyler Bass. Just nail the sucker. Good catch by Knox using his hands. There you go. Plenty of time to get some points before the end of the half. Hundred of you watching, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Join us at halftime. I'll be live at halftime, giving you live updates from this game and around the NFL, talking about whatever you want to talk about. The whoa, there's a score in the Packer game. That's a bigger surprise than anything happened in this game. Eight nothing, Detroit. Shotgun formation. Two wide receivers stop the screen, one to the bottom. Oh, I'm glad he didn't catch it. Singletary over the middle got rocked. Allen owes Singletary an apology. 14 seconds to go. Glad he didn't catch it. I don't know. I don't know what Allen's thinking there either. Like, what will that get you? Unless he didn't see Williams and thought Singletary had room to run. What does that give you? I don't understand that play at all. Both teams one timeout. 14 seconds to go in the first half. Bass is like, just let me kick it from here. I don't care. What'd you say? 73 yard field goal against the wind? I don't care. Shotgun formation through our receiver's top of the screen. One to the bottom. Allen throwing it incomplete. It's going to be third and 10. 10 seconds to go. Diggs drops the ball that time. Had in his hands. Good coverage by Mosley, it looks like. Third and 10. If it's fourth and 10 here, I say you try a field goal anyway. Like, if we don't get any more yards, try the field goal. Who cares? Diggs needs to catch that. Diggs needs to catch that. Third and 10. Three over super stop the screen, one to the bottom. Diggs alone at the bottom of the screen. Jets called their last time out. Okay. I'm okay with that because that means they can't ice the kicker. So I'm okay with that. The Jets called their last time out means that Tyler Bass knows that if he comes out, they can't ice him. So I'm good with that. I'm good because if you're the Bills right now, if you're like the Jets are going to play to prevent the big play, right? They're going to play to prevent the big play. If you're the Bills, take five yards, call time out. Bills five for six on third down today. You're about to be five for seven. I don't think they're even going to. I don't think it's important to them to get the first down here. I think it's important to them to get a better field goal opportunity for Tyler Bass. Saying at the 43 yard line, if you got the 43, talking about a 61 yard field goal attempt. Shotgun formation through wide receiver's top of the screen. Allen's going to take off with it and get a yard. And get, oh no, I'm sorry, he got like five or six yards. He got past the field line. He got about five or six yards, called a timeout, gives Bass an attempt at least. Like I said, you know, it can't be frozen because now the Bills called. Yeah, the Bills called their last time out. Four seconds to go in the first half. Adams having a big day for the Raiders. Fast lineup for a field goal. No field goals, no field goal attempts of 50 plus yards this season. Six for ten in his career. So this is gonna be the first field goal attempt of the season for Tyler Bass over 50 yards. We know he has a cannon of a leg. 
fifth five yarder. We know he has the, he can get the distance. Right now it looks like there's no wind. Hold is down, kick is up. E and he misses it. He misses it. So we go into halftime with the Buffalo Bills up 14 to 10. Misses the 55 yarder. He's a bum. These Bills are bums. Bum. Bum, 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 bum. The Jets will receive the second half kickoff when the Bills are up 14 to 10. I don't know if I like that running play to set up a field goal, but that's okay. That's okay. It's all right. I love that running play to get us the 14 points. So you take what you can get. Sometimes you call a good play, sometimes you don't. But that's just my opinion. So let's do some scores from around the league before we get into our halftime report, before we talk about the Buffalo Bills, the stats, uh, going, some of the stats going into the second half. Uh, the Chargers up 14-10 over the Atlanta Falcons. That game is at half. The Chicago Bears within four points, and some people thought that would be impossible at this point. The Miami Dolphins up 21-17 over the Bears at halftime. The Bengals in the red zone once again, already up 28-0. That game 17 seconds away from halftime, so it looks like the Bengals will score one more time before half. Carolina still no points on the board. At the half, the Detroit Lions offensive juggernauts up 8-0 over the Green Bay Packers. Las Vegas Raiders up 20-10 to at halftime over the Jackson Jaguars. The New England Patriots up 13-0 over the Indianapolis Colts. The Bills up 14-10 over the Jets. The Minnesota Vikings up 7-3 at the half as well over the Washington Commanders. So those are your halftime scores. Um, and this guy never hits long. He's 6 of 11 kicks from above. Okay. But it's fine. It's fine. You're right. Never. He never. He never kicks it well. from. Never mind. Never mind. Whatever. That's fine. So we're at the half. The Buffalo Bills, the bums, the 6-1 and one Bills, the bums that they are, up 14-10 on the road against the New York, New Jersey Jets. The 5-3 New York, New Jersey Jets. The first time that these two teams have met uh, uh, at where both teams are above 500 since 2011. Rex Ryan was the coach of the New York Jets at the time. Joe, do you feel like I do? Frustrated with the first half. I am very frustrated with the first half, uh, mostly the tackling um from the buffalo bills lack thereof a few missed tackles um and, and most of the missed tackles are things that will not be looked at in you know by most of the sports media right negative three yards turned into negative one because of a missed tackle five yards turned into eight because of a missed tackle like you know things like that they matter i'm not saying they don't matter that's why i'm so frustrated about it. but it's not something it's not like you know what was it last week or two weeks ago where where we missed a tackle, got ran for 30 yards for a touchdown. It's not something like that happening, which is good, but it's still frustrating. Um, do I, uh, this defense is definitely playing off uh, coverage, uh, which is annoying as well. Uh, looks like the Jets are, you know, one of my three keys to victory. Uh, third key to victory was do not let the Jets, you know, control the middle of the field on offense, you know, be able to, to hit easy open weapons in the middle of the field, and they've been able to do that. Uh, get easy first downs, running games improving for the Jets. You know, we're not running the ball as effectively as I'd like to right now. You know, right now, Josh Allen is our leading rusher, five carries for 61 yards and two touchdowns. Um, but, you know, I want to see Singletary more. I want to see Cook more. I just want to see, and most of it's this as they're replaying that 30, 30 plus yard touchdown by Josh Allen. Again, a great, great call by Ken Dorsey. And he had to see something there. He had to. Um, but yeah, it seems like the Bills are okay with the middle field being wide open and, and the Jets are taking advantage of that. Um, Josh Allen, 13 and 22, 163 yards. Again, does look like the Jets are trying to take away those big plays by the Buffalo Bills. Some drops by a drop by Gabe Davis, a drop by Diggs, a drop by a few players. You know, our most reliable weapon right now is Stefan Diggs, but right behind him, our next reliable weapon step, uh, is Devin Singletary. You know, it's not a wide receiver. We've seen Knox make a couple catches. He has a drop, you know. So uh, I like what I've seen. A single Terry out of the passing game. Bass is a bummer. Get McCaffrey out of retirement. Uh, yeah. He's made 58 yards. Yeah, his career long is 58 yard. But, yeah, we have three draw plays, I believe, in the first half as well, which we all know how much I love the draw play. So so there's a lot going on in this game that I'm not happy with. I'm not saying you're saying I'm, I'm content with, and, yes, my screen's down because of my lack of happiness during this game so far. So I can fix that in a little bit, but um, you know, I'm not happy with, with 
the way that the game's going. But, you know, the Bills, I expected to see a, a, a double-digit win in this one. I did. You know, this isn't like we're playing the Chiefs and I expected to win at all, any and all costs and it doesn't matter how we win. Like, it matters this game. But still a divisional game. It's still on the road. So there's a lot to be said for just winning this game. Rodgers threw an interception in the end zone. I, that looked like a safety to me, but that's okay. Rodgers has two picks in this game. Wow. Wow, this game's awful. This game's awful. But, hey, the Lions are up. Go Lions. All right, some stats from this game right now. Josh Allen, 13, 22, 163, one interception, no touchdowns. He do has, he do he do has he does have um two rushing touchdowns in this game. So he does have those. Pass rush been garbage. We have not gotten to Zach Wilson. That was another key to victory in this game for me. You know, that I wanted us to get to Zach Wilson as well. Um, and it seems like the only time we got to him, the one time we did get to him and hit him after he got rid of the ball is the play he got hurt on, you know, and, you know, you never want to see a play get hurt, but you definitely want to be able to see uh, see us get more pressure on Wilson that. I think Wilson's throwing it quick. Yeah, he is. He is. And, and again, that's why I don't want the middle of the field to be as open as it has been. You don't want to see open, you know, Zach Wilson 11, 14 for 90 yards. That kind of proves, you know, he's 11 completions, but only 90 yards. I mean, so that kind of proves the point that he's getting rid of the ball quick, short routes, uh, and, you know, not get much after the catch. You know, we sit here and we talk about missed tackles, and it has been an issue and, you know, something we want to pull our hair out over. But hair's out over. Yeah, something like that. Um, but he still only has 90 yards passing in the first half. The issue, you know, Carter, 534, but he has that one touchdown late in the first half. Uh, Wilson is pretty much, you know, Wilson's only target, six receptions for 65 yards. But we say the same thing on the other side of the ball, right? Our only target, as far as wide receivers go, has been step on. Often get this team moving. Uh, but I don't know. I don't know what the what the game plan will be in the second half for the Buffalo Bills. Uh, the Jets have not been able to move the ball well either. Like it's not like the Jets are moving the ball well against us. Um, they do have ten points when the field was a fifty three yard attempt. I think uh, I'm frozen. Am I frozen? Am I still frozen? Or was that it? Looks like that's it. Looks like I'm still good. Let me know if I if, if I'm not if I'm still frozen. If I am frozen, halftime is a great time to be frozen. Um, and then you know I'll give you the third quarter again. Uh, am I still frozen? No one's answering, so maybe I'm frozen. Okay, good now. We froze for like 20 seconds. 20 seconds. Yikes. At least it wasn't 13. Um, <laughs> sorry. Maybe too soon. Maybe too soon. Yeah, on offense, I won't be surprised if the Bills come out and try to do a little hurry up um, just to, just to you know, get a flow of their game going. Maybe get Gabe Davis more involved in the second half. Get someone else involved, right? I haven't seen Shakir at, at one time. Um, anything like that. I haven't seen, you know, I saw McKenzie, I think targeted once. See McKenzie more, more looks, you know, I've seen McKenzie in the backfield a couple times with like, you know, the, the option for a jet sweep or something like that. Run those plays, run those plays and see what you get <laughs> way too soon. <laughs> I'm such a terrible person. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> You think the false background is lagging me up? I'll fix it. I'll fix it. I promise. Maybe it is. Maybe it is. Maybe maybe I should just go back to my couch and be comfortable. I used to do that over on Believers Talk. I would just sit on my couch. No background. Nothing. Just. But I honestly don't know. I feel like this, this is the first time someone said anything in a few weeks. So I'll believe that I'm fine. Um, but as far as defense is concerned, you know, tidy up the middle of the field. More secure tackling. I, I expect Leslie Frazier to come out with a better game plan in the second half. We've seen this team um, do better at defense in the second half. Run the ball more, says Matt. Yeah, absolutely need to run the ball more. Again, uh, Allen, our leading rusher, five carries, 61 yards. I would expect to see more out of out of him. They're out of Singletary than that. Um, right now, if you look at the team stats, penalties is not an issue at all. We're doing good there. 
Turnovers, obviously an issue. Todd possession right now is uh, actually in favor of the Jets, so they controlled a lot of that second quarter um, because of the way the Bills controlled the first quarter. So that's surprising. Bills have 14 first downs. The Jets have 10. Total yards, the Bills 254. The Jets only 152. Um, so the defense is holding their own uh, in that regard as far as total yards. But a lot of the numbers don't speak to the little things, right? And it's the little things that uh, – it's the little things that – can't bug us right now. The the missed tackles that get two, two three, four. Um, you know the the stupid interception of the Reds. again. That that's at least a field goal. That's at least a field goal, and the Bills up seven points. If if we don't throw that interception, the Reds on the first drive of the game. Um, so that's a huge factor. Uh, but yeah, penalties right now. Both team only has one pound. Both teams only have one penalty. The Bills have that fifteen yard face mask. The Jets have a hold on the kickoff return. And that's pretty much it uh, as far as penalties. So total plays, the Bills have 36. The Jets have 27 yards per play. The Bills at 7.1. The Jets at 5.6. Everything is leaning in the favor of the Buffalo Bills every time possession, which is pretty even right now. Um, so I would love to see the Bills you know, force the Jets to punt on this next drive, get another touchdown on the board, and again, keep that comfortable two score lead maybe the jets get to within one score again but then we score right after to make it another two possession game again i pre i predicted 24 14 or was it 27 20 i forget i think it was 24 14 so i don't think that's happening um but at the same time just win this game win this game i said when i saw that the spread was 11 and a half points or whatever it was i said that was way too high again this is a divisional game on the road Thanks, DF. Help me out. Food for thought. I like food for thought. Feed cook more in space. We've been trying to. We've tried to set up some screens that have not worked. Um, the Jets D again doing a good job. You have to give credit where credit is due. Uh, the Jets defense is doing a good job. Um, but I think the Bills come out the second half again. I think try to put get more pressure in the middle of the field. Um, you know, maybe have Von Miller instead of rush to the edge. Von Miller plays back a little bit. Uh, and jump, jumps back into coverage. You don't expect that out of Von Miller too often. Uh, but again, you know, you got to surprise the Jets. Give Zach Wilson things he hasn't seen before. You do have to get pressure on Zach Wilson. You really do. And disguise your blitzes better. Remember that one blitz we ran where Wilson beat uh, Saran Neal? Uh, disguise your blitzes better. You need to disguise your blitzes uh, when you do run them uh, just so Zach Wilson is not ready for them. We'll see. Jets have a great secondary. They have a good secondary. Like I can say they have a great secondary. They have a good secondary. But, you know, they have a good defensive game plan right now. Obviously, if, if the Jets win this game, again, I, I think this is a must-win game for the Buffalo Bills if they want to keep that number one seed. I really do. Because I think the Bills still have some tough games on their schedule, including tough AFC games against the Bengals. Um, we still have divisional matchups, which obviously are going to be harder than we initially thought. We talked about division matchups against the Dolphins, against the Jets, and the Patriots. All teams are 500 and redder in the AFC East. So uh, third quarter game ready to start. Let me fix my screen real quick. Whoever has mixed in fantasy is going to win. Already has four touchdowns. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Go Joe Mixon. I don't know about Joe Mixon fantasy. Probably not. But good friend. I don't have good players on fantasy. Else my team would win. And my team doesn't do that. So I'm trying to fix this, guys. I'm trying. I'm doing a terrible job right now. I know. You can make fun of me in the comment section if you like. But this is what I got. So deal. There we go. It's fixed for now. And when the game starts back up, you really can't tell with the scoreboard. So ain't nothing lines. That's right. All right. Bill's kicking it off to the Jets. Third quarter underway. This is going to be a returnable kick. To the 10, to the 20, and he gets knocked down at about the 20-yard line. That's where Wilson and the Jets will take over. Thirteen nothing Patriots. Yeah, I'll go through some scores at commercial breaks. Uh, again, if you're new to the channel, six nine you in here, hit that thumbs up button, like this video. If you're not subscribed to hashtag Sports, I am live every single Buffalo Bills game day. We actually, my wife and I were talking about that. If the if the Bills make the Super Bowl, will I be live? I don't know. Wilson on our center. Fake the handoff on first down. Pass over the middle is caught. 
I think that's Wilson again with his seventh catch of the game. That's a first down Jets. Although Wilson's limping as he got off the field there. So keep an eye on that. Garrett Wilson with seven catches on seven targets. They run it on first down. Get maybe two yards before he's stuffed up by Epineza and others. So it's going to be second about eight. Bills five for seven on third downs in the first half. Jets one of five. Washington football team has Washington Commanders has taken lead over Minnesota. Roger should have retired. <laughs> Wilson back in the game. Glad to see that. Even though he is burning us pretty good. Seven receptions for 84 yards. Shot confirmation for Zach Wilson. Looking to pass. Give your hands up. Over the middle. Pass deflected. Was it caught or intercepted? Was it caught or intercepted? I just don't know what they're going to rule here. I honestly don't. I have no idea. Elam saying it was intercepted. I have no idea what they're going to rule here. They stopped, they stopped the clock, but they haven't ruled anything. They haven't, Oliver's now saying it's intercepted. Johnson's saying it's intercepted. Was it intercepted? The white hat has no idea. They're saying it's Jets fall. Ah! There goes my screen again. I don't know about any of that at all. Looks like an intercept. No, challenge that. Challenge it. Challenge it. You have to challenge that. You have to challenge that. A7 bops it up in the air. Good job by Johnson. No matter what happens, Johnson needs credit. Edmonds has that. Edmonds has that. They don't challenge it. They get the playoff. On third and two, they run it for a yard. So it's going to be fourth down. You have to challenge that. Man, that's so maddening. I, Edmonds has that in his hands. That's an interception. That's an interception. The tongue of Gene Steratore. I don't know what he's saying, but it's an interception. Dang it. Fake the punt. They're going to get the first down. Dang it! You need to challenge that. And the bill stopped them to a yard on a fake punt. So not bad, but when you only need half a yard. Why does Coach McDermott not challenge? Why? Uh, and someone, I hope someone in the post game presser asks him why he didn't, didn't challenge that. The special teams did a fine job. Like the Jets, the Jets front line moved the Bills front line, so they clearly got the first down. But wow, first and ten Jets after the fake punt. Defense back out there, pitches it, runs to the outside. Got to be careful. This is, this is a lot of times. This is when a big play happens. Shortly after a fake punt conversion, this is when a big play happens. It's going to be second and nine. One yard gain on the play. So mad. Bill should have the ball right now. So mad. Luckily, I'm not a part of this team because, you know, as a team, you got to look beyond it and just keep going. But if I was on a team, I'd also throw a challenge flag. So 10.50 to go here in the third quarter. Jets have the ball. First possession of the second half. Down 14-10. At the 49-yard line, Wilson shotgun formation on second and nine. Fake the handoff. Bills get pressure. Wilson has to scramble. Looking to throw. Out of bounds. Good job getting pressure there on Wilson. That's what happens when you get pressure on Zach Wilson. He's inaccurate. Going to be third and nine. Got to stop him here. Stop him here. Just stop him here. Let's go. Miller got pressure up the middle. Dang. 
We should have the ball at midfield. We should have the ball at midfield. Changes the whole game, obviously. Third and nine. Shotgun formation, four wide receiver set to the top of the screen, to the bottom. Bills getting pressure again. Wilson has to take off. He's going to get the first down and much more. He's at the 36, well, not much more, but more, to the 36-yard line. If you're, the Bills, if you're a Bills fan, you have to be frustrated right now. I mean, the Bills defense shouldn't even be on the field right now. Wilson definitely not known to take off like uh, Allen, but can do so. Ten minutes to go in the third quarter. Bills uh, Jets have the ball first and ten at the Bills' 36-yard line. Back in formation, two wide receivers bottom of the screen. One goes in motion, so I got two wide receivers at the top of the screen. Quick out. That's complete. And it's going to be second and about four for the Jets after that out. Smith on the catch. Justin Fields had a big run in the uh, Dolphins game. And that's what put the Bears only down by three now, early in the third quarter there. Shotgun formation at 30-yard line, second and four for the Jets. Two wide receivers on the screen. They run the ball up the middle. It's going to be third and about two. Third about two. Good job by this Bills defense um, just surrounding the ball. Man. Yeah, this is not a great start to the third quarter for the Bills. Could have been. If the refs weren't blind, it could have been. And if Coach McDermott knows how to throw a challenge for that, it could have been. Because that was definitely an interception. Yeah, get past it. 8.44 to go in the third quarter. Jets have the ball third and two. Shotgun, wide receiver to his, or run back to his right. Fake the handoff. Quick pass out. Why are you not up on him? Number 10 with the catch. That's uh, With the catch, an easy first down. Because Why is the defender not playing up on him? I don't understand that. As soon as he comes out of his break, the defender should be coming up. Is he, is he scared again? Be deep? Like I just don't know. Intense Barrios, however you say it. Okay, turn the game off. First and 10 Jets. At the 22. What's going on now? Why is everything stopped? What's going on? I don't get what's going on in this game right now. Timeout? Did someone call timeout? Injury timeout, maybe? Is someone injured? Oh, no, the camera fell. The camera fell. Camera's on the field. Camera's on the field. Someone's getting fired. The camera fell. All right. Let's look at scores around the league. Chargers still up 14-10 over the Falcons. Miami up 28-25 over the Bears. Cincinnati up 38-0 over Carolina. Detroit still up 8-0 over Green Bay. Jacksonville trails the Raiders 20-17. New England still up 13-0 over Indianapolis. The Jets trailing the Buffalo Bills 14-10. The Washington Commanders up 10-7 over the Minnesota Vikings. All games now in the third quarter. The Falcons are in the red zone. The Panthers in the red zone, threatening to score for the first time today. Mm, man, it's kind of frustrating for your Bills fan right now. Really frustrating. Interception, let's go, Buffalo. Some, some, some of us still have faith, right? Some of us still have faith. The way this defense is playing, though, if I'm the Jets, I'm taking everything this Bills team's giving us. This Bills team's giving us five, six yards every play, six yard out routes, that little bubble screen, stuff like that. Take it all day. Take it. And then every time they run the ball, they're averaging probably about four yards a carry. So you take it all day. Third and two from the 28 when we come back from commercial break. Again, there's a camera down on the field currently. D has not looked good to me in two games. Uh, I would say, I mean, I think in the first half last week we played really well. 
um, on defense. I would say the second half, we looked really bad. But yeah, in the first half last week, I would say we looked really good. What was it, 24-7 at half, 24-3 at half, something like that? I mean, we're averaging, we're still averaging 14 points allowed a game. That's still pretty good. We didn't get exposed against the Packers last week. This is, you, 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 these narratives are funny to me. We did not get exposed against the Packers last week. Like nothing happened against the Packers last week. We we allowed up by twenty four. We allowed them to run the ball. That's what happened last week. And the and the Packers can only run the ball. And by the way, Aaron Jones pretty good, pretty good. And if you say like they run the ball well against us today, their top running back has thirty seven. Their top rushing rusher has thirty seven yards today. Here we go. There's no no longer gonna be a camera in the middle of the field. That's a shame. Nope. Here we don't go. They get. Oh no, they got it. Okay, they got it up. They got it working. How long before it falls on a player? How long before one of these cameras falls on a player or an official? Because we need better camera views and all that stuff. Yeah, we're still going commercial. Still not fixed. We're going to risk. You know, this is the kind of stuff that happens. I'm like, you guys care about player safety? Kind of hard to believe. It's all about the dollar. It's not about player safety. One of those cameras, you know how heavy those cameras are? They come down on an official or a player. Now, a player has protection, sure. But Atlanta just took the lead. Well, might as well watch other games since they can't get the uh, king of the camera situation figured out, right? Atlanta did just take the lead up 17-14. Miami still up 28-25 over the Bears. Carolina Panthers did score, so they're not going to get shut out. Green Bay can't say that, so there you go. 35-7 Cincinnati over Carolina. The Lions still up 8-0 over the Green Bay Packers. Las Vegas up 20-17 over the Jacksonville Jaguars. The New England Patriots up 13-0. However, the Colts are in the red zone. Jets trailing the Bills 14-10, but the Jets are driving as we – no. Washington up 10-7 over Minnesota. Those are the scores. Again, later today, you got the Cardinals and Seahawks. You got the Buccaneers and the Rams. That's tonight. Should be going. Tonight, you got the Kansas City Chiefs and Tennessee Titans. Tomorrow, you got the Baltimore Ravens going to New Orleans to play the New Orleans Saints. So, those are your games. Thursday, the Eagles. One Philadelphia team beat Houston this week. Uh, the Eagles beat the uh, Texans. So much for Miami running away with it. So, yeah, absolutely. Let's go Buffalo. Again, Bills win here, and the the Colts and Bears somehow get upsets in their games, and it's smooth sailing. And maybe that's not what the Bills – if you're a Bills fan, maybe you don't want to see smooth sailing because that's when the Bills kind of back up a little bit. And no thank you. Take – take uh, seem like they take their foot off the gas sometimes still. And that's a problem. Are we going to make Thanksgiving to put white in? I don't, maybe. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know what the plan is with white. We, we know that the, the way the Buffalo Bills medical staff takes care of things is that they, they tend to leave a player out an extra week instead of putting them in uh, a week when they're not sure if he's ready. So, you know, nothing would surprise me at this point. Nothing would surprise me at this point. I would love to see Trey back, you know, Trey White back this game. Maybe next week even, but you know, whatever the Bills decide is best for him, you know, give him enough time where he's ready for the playoffs, I guess. I don't know. So 27 to go. Looks like nothing's happening. Still back from commercial break, but yeah, like nothing's going on right now. All the all all the all the cameras are focused on the one camera. Like that's what we're focused on. With 827 to go. Man, awesome. Awesome. This turf is bad. Yes, yes. The, 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 the MetLife Stadium has a reputation for injuring players. It's not a good one. I, I remember last year, early on, week two or three, when San Fran played like the, the Giants and Jets back to back. There were a bunch of injuries in that game. We're looking at camera wires. Like, that's what we're doing right now. That's what we're doing with our lives. I, I might have to on another game soon, guys. And you'll have to tell me when this game's back on because I just can't do this. 
This is our year. I hope so. I hope so. I really hope so. Alan's not sure what's going on. And want to talk about getting cold, right? Like this is just extended time that Allen and this offense has been on the field. Before, I mean, but the next time Allen and the offense get on the field, remember it was halftime. Now we got this long delay. It might be an hour between the last time they're on the field and the next time they're on the field. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. So we'll see what happens. Why is things so long? Because they're not prepared. I mean, I mean, what, what, what do you do when a camera falls on the field? The problem is the camera angles, right? Like we, we all, we, we don't need this camera angle to begin with. We don't take the camera away. Yeah, they cut. They, they're cutting to the Miami game. Miami's in the red zone. Wow. So that means they're expecting it to take a little bit longer. Oh, bother. Guys, thank you for joining me on this edition of Hashtag Sports. We're live for the game between the Dolphins and Bears, apparently. Uh, Bills Bills and Jets. Game is 14-10 in a delay because cameras? Cameras. Because cameras happen. So, um, yeah, I mean, talk about bums. I mean, so if you're a camera crew, you get there two days before the game. You spend all day Saturday setting up cameras for the game. If you guys remember a while back when Minnesota had their old stadium, the snow collapsed and we caught it all, they caught all on camera because the crews were there on Saturday setting up the camera. It happened like at five in the morning on Sunday, four or five in the morning. And the cameras were there rolling because the cameras are set up on Saturday. Okay. And, and a lot of the cameras are like, um, like they start recording as soon as they see movement, something like that. I mean, I'm sure there's an actual term for it, but that's why. That's why those cameras were rolling at that time. Um, so, you know, the process of getting an overhead camera takes a full day to set up. So when – that's a touchdown. Miami scores a touchdown. Um, so when something like that happens, you know, what took you a day to set it up, you have to take down in, what, 30 – like how long does it take? It's going to take you a while. MetLife Junk, New Jersey. Uh, unfortunately, you know, the camera crews come from all over the world or all over the United States. Uh, you know, they hire camera crews, kind of like officiating crews, really. Um, they get a camera crew, uh, you know, television crew. So really, the people to blame for this is probably CBS. But the same token, they probably have a private contractor who does, mo you know, who they get this stuff from, who they get crews from. So that's who's to blame. But maybe it's maybe it's there's not a good place to uh, hook them up in MetLife Stadium. You know, maybe that's part of the problem. I don't know. I don't know. We're back in New Jersey, where there's still a camera on the field. This has to be the worst feeling for those guys too, right? Like the last last thing you want as a camera crew is to be on TV, right? Like I I I, I did this so I could be behind the camera. I don't, this doesn't matter to me. Motion activated. There you go, Angel. Thank you. Thank you for uh, words. Words are good. Man. Kind of like me right now. I'm sure Evan Washburn, Ian Eagle, Charles Davis are like, what do we talk about? Oh, the game's, game's starting. Hold on. First and 10. First and 10 Jets at the Bills 22. Von Miller's offsides. Free play. They probably blew it dead because Von Miller was about to destroy Zach Wilson from behind. Oh, no, they're saying it was a false start on the offense. I'm good with that. They're saying number 11, Mims. Denzel Mims moved before the snap. I'm good with that, too. I'm good with that, too. Yeah, I wonder. Um, the, the Colts did score a field goal. I wonder, like, how long. A, uh, I think it's half an hour. Um, but I wonder how long a break has to be in action before you let the teams warm up again before they go back up to play because a long break like that could be very bad when you're talking about going back into action. If that makes sense. Like it could be very bad for the body to be sitting and resting like that. That's why I'm worried about this, all, how the bills offense responds. So that's first 15 Zach Wilson back to throw has a guy open at the 20 Elam tackles him at the 19 yard line. That's Wilson with his eighth catch of the game. 
So it's going to be third down. No, I'm sorry, second down because it's a false start. Second down at about four or seven because I can't read a stinking thing. What happened? So the, the camera that's in the middle of the field uh, fell. So one of the wires must have snapped or something and was was dangling low to the field. So they had to stop the game to remove that. A pitch read well, but missed tackle in the backfield. Oh, and it's no gain. And that's all well and good, but it can be like a four-yard loss. Who was back there? And again, that's the type of missed tackle that's not going to be talking about, uh, you know, on, on film day or game day or whatever. But who misses that tackle? Dang it. It led to about, I'm going to say, a 15-minute delay. I don't know. 6 40 to go in the third quarter. So this will be the last 1 o'clock game, unless one of the games goes into overtime. Might be this game going into overtime. Who knows? Shotgun formation on third and six. Four wide receiver set. Two to the top, two to the bottom. Zach Wilson has all day to throw. Von Miller comes from behind. Fumble. Who has the ball? It is a fumble. I thought it just landed. Who has it? Von Miller with a strip sack, and the Bills got it. The Bills got it. Von Miller with the strip sack. I thought I thought the offensive lineman jumped right on that, but apparently that didn't happen, and the Bills get on it. Yeah, like the offensive lineman, number 70 is right there, and he doesn't fall on it. Epineza does a good job hitting him, make sure he doesn't fall on it. I don't know who recovered the ball, but now the Bills got it. AJ was with one less tackle. Thank you, man, in the kitchen. Wow. I still hear my phone. I don't see it. <laughs> I still hear my phone. I don't see it. And that makes Joe sad. But that's okay. Ackermush break. Bills just got a huge break on defense. Huge break on defense. Found Mill with a strip sack. And who knows, you know, going back. And, and first of all, the Bills were, were owed a turnover on this series anyway because they had one at midfield that wasn't called. Um, but who knows how much that break interfered with just the way the Jets seemed to be rolling on offense. Um, but either way, I'll take it. Since he scored again. So since he's going to cover the over by themselves in that game, Cincinnati is up 41, soon to be 42 to 7, pending extra point. Miami did score, as we saw during the break. Miami's up 10, 35, 25 over the Bears. The Atlanta Falcons are up 17, 14 over the Chargers. The Jacksonville Jaguars are in the red zone, trailing the Las Vegas Raiders 20 to 17. The Detroit Lions have an 8 0 lead over Green Bay still. Pick the under on that one, hopefully. Uh, New England has a 13 to 3 lead over the Indianapolis Colts. And the Buffalo Bills up 14 10. So Washington also up 10 7 in those games. All those games in the third quarter, I believe. Yep. Less than a minute to go in the third quarter in the Atlanta Chargers game. But it doesn't look like the Bills are not that far behind some of these games after that long delay. The Green Bay, Green Bay is in the red zone now. Um, something they've seen a couple times today and still have no points. Um, but yeah, that's still at five and a half minutes to go in the third. And we're at 615. So the delay didn't put us too far behind, but it was a pretty lengthy delay overall. So uh don't blink finally. Vaughn, worth every penny. I think that's, what, Vaughn's fifth sack of the season? Maybe sixth sack of the season? Don't forget to join Paul and Mario directly after this game for post-game analysis here on Hashtag Sports. They're going to give you the good and the bad from this game, and there's going to be plenty to talk about as far as the bad go. But if we win this game, just remember it is a divisional win on the road. And those matter no matter how you get them. Wins matter no matter how you get them. Um, you want to see your team better. <laughs> You're late, guys. You're late. I called this earlier. But hey, better late than never, right? Better late than never. 122 and a half sacks moves to 20th all time for Von Miller after that one. Josh Allen, shotgun formation, two wide receiver on the screen. Looking to throw, looking to throw. He gets sacked. Defensive lines beginning to get pressure on the quarterback on both sides of the field. Number 95 with the sack. Six minutes to go in the third quarter. The Bills got the ball second down. Zach takes him back to the 22-yard line. That's Quentin Williams with the sack. 5.50 to go down in third. Second and 17 for the Bills. Two wide receivers to the top of the screen, one to the bottom. Looks like Cook, James Cook, is in the backfield. 
Allen can throw it's a clean pocket, throws it, throws another interception. Who is that even two? Who is that even two? Gabe Davis comes from behind, makes the tackle. Josh Allen's ticked. And he should be. Sauce Gardner with the interception. Wow. That's the second interception today by Josh Allen. And that one's just as bad. There's no one there. I don't even know who that's two. There's nobody there. I don't know. It does make you wonder if, if someone made a, you know, had a wrong route. But Josh Allen still needs to see that. Josh Allen still needs to say, hey, no one's there. I can't throw the ball there. It might be a timing pa- timing route with Davis. I don't know. But you can't throw that. First and 10 inside the red zone for the Jets at the 19. Wilson in shotgun formation. Two wide receivers to the bottom of the screen. Number 10 gets the ball. Looks like they're going to try some trickery here. Number 17 has the ball. Oh, he fumbles it! Oh, gets seven yards. Got hit hard. Wilson, pump fake it. Pretend like he's going to throw the ball. He fumbles the ball. Actually ends up getting seven yards on the play because he recovers his own fumble. Yeah, he's, it just slipped out of his hands. And it was uh, Phillips who tried to make sure he didn't recover the ball there, but he does fumble it. He does recover it. And so it's going to be second and three for the Jets because it turns out to be a seven-yard game for Wilson. So turned out all right for them. It's Josh Shaving points, maybe. I don't know, but you have to you have to I, I always assume the worst. And I assume the Jets are gonna take the lead here. It's it's gonna be interesting to see how, how the Bills respond on offense. Second and three. Who's down? Oh come on, Elam's down. Oh my gosh. He's then been on off the field under his own power. But how much more can we take here? This secondary is so beat up. Wow. Shotgun formation trips the top of the screen. One uh, receiver goes in motion. So now two to the top screen, one to the bottom. Look at the throw on. Look at the receiver, maybe. Look at the receiver, maybe. It was a good catch on bounce. Like, we're lucky We're lucky we didn't call for pass interference there. I don't know if he touched him or not. So if he didn't touch him, obviously, there's no pass interference. But Benford needs to look for the ball. You need to look for the ball, Benford. You can't play the receiver like that. And they have a clear mismatch there. That's a clear mismatch. Like if if that if that's what the Bills have to go with, Wilson and Benford versus Wilson, has Hines been in yet on special teams? On special teams. Third and three for the Jets. I would I would play that same play. If it's if it's Wilson versus Benford, give it to Wilson. Shot confirmation, four wide receiver set. Wilson looking to throw. Has room to run. That's what he's gonna do. And he gets the first down, gets out bouncing me first and goal Jets. Wow. First and goal Jets. Again, the Jets uh, on their first possession of third quarter fumble the ball. You know, they drove the ball downfield, fumble it on a Zach on a Von Miller strip sack. Bills recover. Uh, Allen gives the gift right back. Uh, throws an interception, and now the, the Jets have the ball. First and goal from the seven-yard line. Shotgun formation. And, uh, Wilson looking to throw. Throws inside. Has a man. Touchdown, Jets. Wide res- or running back screen play. Gets him a touchdown. Robinson with the catch. They just got Robinson this week, I believe. And the Jets take a 16-14 to lead. 4-0-3 to go here in the third quarter. Cincinnati's up 42-7. So they're still scoring. 
Miami's driving again up by 10. 4.03 to go in the third quarter, and the Jets have the lead. X point's up. X point is good. Ah! Oh! Allen's interception leads to a touchdown by the Jets. That's Allen. Allen has two interceptions today. Not playing well at all. 13 23, 163, two touchdowns. That is on Josh. 100% on Josh. Because I, I still know who he was throwing it to. Still don't know who he's been throwing it to. Wow. Close games around the league as we're in well into the second half. Some of these games into the fourth quarter. Atlanta up by three over the Chargers. Miami up by 10. Still in the third in that one. Cincinnati, that's not a close game. Uh, Green Bay did score a touchdown. They went for two and missed it. So it's eight to six in that game. Uh, Jacksonville now up 24 20 over the Raiders. Then that game in the fourth quarter, New England up 16 3. Jets up by a field goal. Washington up by a field goal. So there's three games within a field goal. There are Green Bay Detroit games within two. Uh, Jacksonville's up by four. So there's a few close games around the NFL as the fourth quarters get underway. Eight to six is an hilarious score. Uh, why does that look like he doesn't want the MVP? Because because he again he's he's not playing well. He's not playing well. But he's still you know I still say he's the best quarterback drafted in that draft class. I have no issue saying that. I have no issues with the contract that the Bills signed him for. No issues there. It has been a bad four quarters for, for Josh Allen, but there's plenty of time to turn that around. Plenty of time to turn that around, both in this game and in the season. I never cared about MVP. All I cared about was winning games. I don't get part of the bonus check if he wins MVP. I don't. Believe it or not, I don't. I don't care who wins MVP. I just want my team to win a Super Bowl. Jets fans excited. As well, they probably should be. We're not having Hines in the game. Hines will not play much in this game. I'm sorry, he's not. He'll be on special teams, and that's where he's been all game long. That's going to be a touchback, so the Bills start at their own 25-yard line. You don't get traded on Tuesday and see a lot of action that same week. Yeah, I mean... They showed the second interception, even after they showed it, and, and, and they tried to show the route that Davis was. It still makes no sense they throw the second interception. No sense. Allen on the center. Singletary in the backfield. Gets the handoff. Gets four yards. The Jets, the Jets will catch on if we just run the ball every play. The Jets will. Jets will. Let's let's. That's the threat back to Lathan punt to Scott. <laughs> yeah. Second and six. Again, four plus four plus four equals 12. That's a good enough for a first down. Shotgun formation, five wide receiver set. Now Singletary comes from the bottom of the screen to the backfield. So he's not to the left of Josh Allen. So three wide receivers at the top, one to the bottom. And looking to run. Runs for a first down. Picks about seven on the play. It's going to be first and 10 Buffalo. Again, I would love to see Buffalo implement a hurry up style offense right now. Get some rhythm. We've clearly been out of rhythm so far. Runs over Mosley. 
in the second half, partially into the you know in the second quarter. So would love to see us get some kind of rhythm. Two wide receivers to the bottom of the screen, one to the top. Singletary two, Allen's right. Allen rolls to the left. He's gonna run again. He's gonna run out of bounds after eight yards. Well, if we can pick up if we can pick up eight yards every run, I, I'm good with running the ball. 237 to go in the third quarter. Bills trailing the Jets 17-14. He doesn't fumble. Yeah, he has one of those in this game, too. Luckily, the Bills recovered his, but he has one of those in this game. So nothing's out of question. Second and one. Bills have the ball. Allen under center, Singletary behind him. Hand the ball up to Singletary. Does not even get the one yard. Maybe gets half a yard on the play. Clemens on the tackle for the Jets. Two minutes to go in the third quarter. Bills will have the ball third and one. Good thing, guys, for joining me on this edition of Hashtag Sports 89 in here. Hit that thumbs up button. Maybe after this game, we'll consider more about all of us putting in money to own the commanders. I'm sure between the 90 of us, we have more money than Jeff Bezos, right? Yeah, sure. We can outbid him. Allen's going to take off up middle, get the first down, get into Jets territory to the 48-yard line. So on this drive, it's been nothing but runs so far. And uh, got, it's gotten us to midfield with a minute and a half to go, minute 20 to go in the third quarter. What we do know is that the way the offenses are moving the ball, there are not going to be too many more possessions in this game for either team, right? Like, we're down by three. We're probably going to have three more possessions in this game, maybe. So we need to make them count. Singletary in the backfield. McKenzie goes in motion. Fake the handoff. Looks like this is going to be a pass play. It's a screen. Why did you not bounce that to the outside? Singletary gets two yards. Why do you not bounce that to the outside? You have a blocker ready to block mostly if you bounce that to the outside. Because Hines has been there for five days. Five days. Five days. How well do you know your job after five days? Hines will be that guy next week. Allen under center, single back set. It's Cook in the backfield this time. Heavy run formation. And they do run ball. Cook tries to get to the outside, gets inside the 45 to about the 44. Fourth quarter is going to start. The Bills will have a third and five. I think Singletary is a fine running back receiver out of the backfield. He's not as good as James Cook, not as good as Hines, maybe. But he can hold his own as a receiver. I'm not worried about that. And third quarter, the Bills trailing the Jets 17-14. I'm not going to say he's not a good receiver. He's not as good as the other guys. But he's, that doesn't mean he's not good. Scores from around the league. Atlanta up 17-14 still. The Bears still trailing by 10, but they have the ball. As fourth quarter starts there. 42-7 in Cincinnati. That game's over. Uh, the Detroit Lions have scored a touchdown, make it eight, uh, 14 to 6. See if they go for two again. But it is now an eight point game there. I would go for the next point and get a possession game. Las Vegas down by four, 24 20. New England has a 16 3 lead. The Jets have a three point lead in this one. Washington has scored a touchdown, go up 17 7 in this game here. And compared to some of their wide receivers today, Singletary is doing better than most of that, other than Diggs. So. When you say Singletary is not a good uh, receiver out of the backfield, I I would say I disagree. Again, maybe not as good as Cook or Hines, but he can definitely hold his own. So that's what that's what I would say. I don't know. Maybe I'm crazy. More than likely, I'm crazy. But. Bill still trail by three. Whatever it takes, we got to get points. You know, we got to get points at this point. 
have to have, you know, glad we're giving our defense a little bit of a break here because our defense was on the field a lot in that third quarter. So glad that the Bills defense does get the break here. Joe Mixon over 200 yards total, five touchdowns. Whew. Yeah, Shakir, I haven't heard, I haven't called Shakir's name one time today. I have not hear, I have not had to call Shakir's name one time today. So that could be that is a problem, I think. You're not or for, for that point, I've used Kumaro, you know, used Kumaro's name once. He was intended, he was an intended target one time. So but Singletary has four catches for 24 yards in this game. Knox three for 25, Diggs five for 93. Gabriel Davis has 115. That was towards the end of the half. Jets have the best fourth quarter point differential in the league at plus 58. The Bills have to beat that right now. Shotgun formation. Pass to Cook out of the backfield. Gets inside the 40 to the 36 and a first down. Keep passing it to our running backs because our wide receivers ain't doing much. So good first play to start the fourth quarter. Move the chains. Don't forget about that missed field goal in the half, the 55-yarder. That would could be important here. Could be important here. Swing back set. Heavy run formation. They do run the ball with Cook. Cook trying to make a man miss and bounce the outside. Unable to do so. Gets a yard on the play. Looks like a Jets player got hurt on the sideline. Not sure if he was playing or if uh, he got tripped up on the tackle. But, yeah, Jets player is definitely down on the sideline. Might have another delay here. So it wasn't even a Jets player who was in the game. It was a Jets player that kind of got caught up in the in the melee of what was going on around him. So that's sad. Second and nine. And looking to throw. Rolls to his right. Still looking to throw. Has to throw this one away. So it's going to be third and nine for the Buffalo Bills. 13.44 to go. Yeah, so what I want at the beginning of the game doesn't really matter right now. All, all I'm looking for now is the win. Whatever it takes to win this game. You know, a divisional matchup. You don't want to go 0-2 against your division, even if you're 6-2, and you know, overall. Like, it just looks bad. And then whoever wins tonight's game is tied with you in the standings. You might have a tiebreaker, but they're still playing a season to go. Third and nine. Seven rushes on this drive, three passes. One was a one one of those passes was just a throwaway. Shotgun formation, five wide receivers set. Allen has a clean pocket, throws it way over, throws his intended receiver of uh, of Hines. So there you go. There's Hines on the field for you. He gets overthrown, and it's gonna be fourth and nine. Fourth and nine. Chicago scored to make it 35-32. Wow. Bass back in for a field goal attempt. 0 for 1 today, missed the 55 yarder. This one's going to be from 49. So, no gimme either. I don't want to watch. I don't want to watch. I don't like it. I don't like it. Why don't I like it? Why don't I like it? It's right down the middle. 13-33 to go in the game. Tied up 17-17. Well, it shouldn't be tied up 17-17. Oh, man. I mean, it should be because both teams are playing like it should be because that's what they have. But here we go. Now it's come on defense, right? Come on defense. Step up. Step up. What do you have in store for this for this drive? What do you have in store for this drive? You had plenty of time to rest. New England's in the red zone already up 16-3, so I would say that game might be over there. Detroit is up 15-6, up two scores, 14-20 to go there. Jacksonville up 24-20. They got the ball with less than 10 minutes to go in that game. 
The Vikings are down by 10 to Washington. A little bit of a surprise to me. I know Washington's four and four on a three game winning streak going into this one. And like Scott said earlier, you know, confidence is a dangerous pill, dangerous pill. So a uh, little surprise to me. Minnesota is in the red zone in that one. L.A. is in the red zone against Atlanta, trailing 17-14. The Bears did just score to only be trailing by a field goal in that game. So, again, a few close games here in the early 1 o'clock hour uh, of these NFL games. There were eight NFL games at 1 o'clock. Um, so we have two at 4 and then the 8 o'clock game tonight. Six teams on by. Good for them. If you're a fan of the six teams on by, good for you. You know, if you got three defenses all of a sudden, no, no, just struggling, just struggling. That's all it is. It's not the first time an MVP favorite at the beginning of the season had a had a st struggling stretch through the season. Doesn't mean he's going to be out of the MVP race either. Hate to break it to you, but it doesn't. Oh, okay, thanks. <laughs> Glad you chose my answers. Okay. Okay. Well, if you if Jeff says no, then no. No, he hasn't. <laughs> that, gave, that gave me it. No. I mean, it's a mix of things, right? Like, you have to talk about play calling. Jets defense, you know, might deserve some credit in there, too. But it's 17-17. If you say so. Thanks, Bill. Thanks for trusting me so much. I wouldn't, but I'm glad you do. Yeah, Zach Wilson under pressure, two, two of six, 12 yards, sack, lost fumble. No pressure, 15 of 16, 130, and touchdown. Let's try to get some pressure on Zach Wilson, maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Maybe. It's all right. We can't separate from the Jets. They might not be able to separate from the Bears, which might look, oh, let me kick it out of bounds. And we kick it out of bounds. So they're going to start at the 40-yard line. How do you kick it out of bounds? Just kick it out of the end zone. Like, what are you trying to do? Oh, my gosh. 13-33 to go. The Jets will start the ball. Oh, don't give them a hug, Diggs. Don't give them a hug and say it's all right. Anything stupid like that. The Bills offense hasn't been able to do anything in three quarters. Anything. No, nah, maybe not three quarters. We did score two touchdowns in this one. What do I think about play calling day? I've seen some really good play calls. And I've seen some bad ones. You know, that touchdown run by Allen, that was a great play call. Obviously, they've been filming about against that. No pressure again on Wilson. Throws a dart. It's incomplete. And it should have been caught. Is that Mims who should have caught that one? Should have caught that one. Should have caught that one. Second and 10. Let's go. 13 28 to go. Let's just escape at this point. Second 10 from 40. I'm going to stretch play to the left. Sniffed out by the Bills D. He still falls forward for a yard and a half. Ay, ay, ay. Stop at the line. Just stop them. Just stop them. Man. Third and eight. Third and eight. Come on. Shotgun formation. Get some pressure in the middle. Get some pressure on Wilson. Bill sent a, a fifth guy. Get some pressure, and it's incomplete. It's fourth down. Three and out. Let's go. That's what we need to see. That's what we need to see. AFC sound like it absolutely is, but it's not all of a sudden. I mean, Jets are five and three. Miami's five and three. Miami beat us. I would say, uh, you know, week two, week three, week four. This is when the AFC started looking tighter than we thought it was going to. Miami starts 3-0, beats us in whatever conditions and weird way possible, fine. But they still are 3-0 and they beat us. Now they lose three straight after that. But the Jets are right there as well. So, yeah, I would say that, you know, this season, 
overall, it's a surprise. I don't say it just became one. But yeah, I mean, we were expecting a double digit win in this game. Fair catch at the nine by Hines. I'm, I'm sorry, at the 14. And there's a fight, which is awesome. There's a flag, a fight. Who knows what's going on? Nobody. Good three and out either way. But if it's half distance to the goal, we're starting at the seven. And do I trust Josh Allen right now backed up at the seven? No. No. But he's still your star quarterback, so you kind of have to, right? You kind of have to. Personal foul. Unnecessary roughness. Kicking team. All right. 315 yards. Thank you. 315 yards. Don't know. Don't know if we deserve it or not, but we'll take it. I don't know because I didn't see it. But we'll take it. Justin Hardy with the 15 yard penalty. It's only what the third penalty of this game, maybe. Oh, yeah, I guess so. I guess so. He uh, tackled Taiwan Jones well out of bounds. Gets a 15 yard penalty. I'll take it. I'll take it. First and 10, Buffalo at the 27 yard line. Single set back. Allen under center, moving left to right. They do give it to McKenzie on this uh, uh, sweep, and he gets 10 yards. I said at halftime, we need work on that. We need to give him the ball. Give them, give the Jets something else to think about. So it's actually nine and a half yards. It's going to be second and short. Second and short. Shot information for Allen. Two wide receivers top of the screen. McKenzie bit the catch. He gets the first down. He had to fall, dro drop to his knees to catch the ball. He gets about three yards on the first down. So it's going to be first and 10 Buffalo. Never would guess that the Lions were going to win today. Well, maybe not never, but Green Bay is that bad. Green Bay is that bad. They have the back-to-back -back reigning MVP, and they're that bad. Shotgun formation, 11-20 to go in the fourth quarter. Two wide receivers bottom on the screen. Fake the handoff to Singletary. Allen looking to run. Don't look to run there. He gets back to the line of scrimmage, but nothing else. He had an open guy slanting over the middle of the field. He just didn't look up and see him. And that's how you could tell, in my opinion, that's how you could tell that Josh Allen isn't on his game. Because normally Josh Allen can keep his eyes downfield when he's going to take off. And he's just, he just didn't there. He had an open guy. I don't know if it was Knox. Not sure what it was. But he had an open guy slanting over the middle of the field. Second and 10 for the Buffalo Bills. Shotgun formation. Run back to his right. Two wide receivers to the bottom screen. One to the top. Run the ball here. Got to run the ball every once in a while. Out route to McKenzie. He gets nine on the play, maybe 10, depending on where they mark it. It's going to be about half a yard shy once again. It's going to be third and one. I think that any quarterback who throws two ugly interceptions in the game will lose faith in himself. Um, or second guess, as Angel says. Yeah, I think that, that that's about to happen. I don't expect it to have any impact on next week's game. I think, you know, that's what the best do. Up middle. Eleven on third down. Field. Nine forty to go. I still don't know what's going on. There's still a scrum going on. Getting chippy. Chippy, chippy. We're getting chippy. Oh, because Gilly must hit someone late. If I'm, if I'm the coaching on the sideline, I tell Galen to watch that stuff. Be careful. You get us a 15-yard penalty, all of a sudden we're looking at 
And it wasn't apt. It might not have been apt to play either. So first and 10 now, single back set, knocks and digs to the top of the screen. They fake the handoff. Allen trying to outrun a Jets player, cannot do it. And it's a sack for the Jets. That's Johnson with the sack. Good job by running down Josh Allen. It's going to be second and 14. It was a naked boot. Looked like Josh was going to try to take off with it. Naked bootleg, and number 52 was having none of it. So, wait, you know, and, and anytime someone can run down Josh Allen, you have to give him credit. So, that's going to be second and 14. 75 of you watching, and thank you for watching on this edition of Hashtag Sports. Be sure to hit that thumbs up button. Like this video. Four wide receivers at the top of the screen. We saw this earlier today. One to the bottom. Singletary goes in motion. Gets a chip block. He's open, too. So is Knox. Almost throws another interception. Almost. He has Knox and Singletary wide open over the middle and in the flat. And he almost throws an interception. Knox is wide open. Knox has room to run. And he, well, he was intended, at least I knew he was intended, his intended target was that time. It was Diggs. It was well behind Diggs, though. Third and 14. Three wide receivers top of the screen, one to the bottom. Knox is open again, but this time it's third and 14. He's going deep. And it's incomplete. Number four on the breakup. That's Reed. And it's going to be fourth 14. He had, he had, uh, Diggs had a step, but again, it was underthrown. 8.05 to go. The Bills have to punt the ball. You know, every once in a while, that was good coverage by the cornerback. Way to look back for the ball. Don't get past interference. Good job by Reed. Uh, if it's thrown better towards the back of the end zone, Diggs has a chance to run that down. Um, Every once in a while, a quarterback has to say, this is on me. And if the Bills lose this game, uh, the, the biggest reason is going to be Josh Allen. This ball can't be downed. Yes, it's going to go inside the five. Awesome. Good punt by Sam Martin to the four. <laughs> Sam Martin gets that punt down to the four-yard line, and that's where the Jets will have to take over. So at least our defense has a shot here. Yeah, okay, under through digs. Under through digs. So at commercial right now, Jets Bills tied 17-17. Dog fight. Speaking of tied at 17 17, the Chargers and Falcons are tied at 17 17. The Bears have the ball trailing by three against the Dolphins. Carolina has scored again to make it 42 14. The Green Bay Packers have the ball in the red zone trailing 15 to 6. Jaguars still up by four, 24 20. New England up 19 to 3. Jets, Bills tied 17 17. Minnesota looks like they just scored a touchdown 17 16. We might have three games here tied at 17 apiece midway through the fourth quarter. In each one of them. Actually, the Chargers at Land Games late in the fourth quarter with only two and a half minutes to go in that one. So three games potentially tied at 17. Green Bay in the red zone, trailing 15 to 6. Jacksonville still only up by four in that game. Chicago only trailing by three. So again, a few close games here coming down to the wire midway through the fourth or later in all of these games. The Bills got off to a hot start. They're up 14-3 at one point in this game. I don't care for my safety right now. Just win. Just win. That's all that matters. Just win. Well, they well start the four-yard line. We'll see what we can do. See what we can do. You know, at the beginning of the game, we thought that the bad weather would not affect Josh Allen's ball. And I don't know if that's 
what's doing it. You know, I know that the Jets have good corners um, and Sauce Gardner, you know, Sauce Gardner was a what top five draft pick. So, you know, they have good corners. You know, they have a good defensive backfield. If you get creative with the backs, maybe. And, and you know, as time wears on with Hines now as, as our guy back there, maybe we do. Um, but I, I think this this over the past few weeks, I've been saying this, and I think this kind of shows, you know, we we need a guy like Odell Beckham or someone who can separate downfield and give Diggs a little bit of a break. Like, we need wide receiver depth, and we just don't have that right now. First and 10 from the four Wilson shotgun formation. Number eight goes in motion, then goes behind Zach Wilson. They run the ball on first down, which is not a surprise at all. He breaks a tackle at line of scrimmage and gets eight. Oh, my gosh. You know they're running the ball. You have him at the line of scrimmage, and he still gets eight yards. Nine yards, second and one. So there goes the safety idea, unless we get back-to-back -back sacks, which I'm okay with two. Shotgun for me, they're running it here, though. You just gained nine on first down. You're going to run the ball again, get the first down, gets to the 20. And in two plays, they're at the 20-yard line. Seven minutes to go. First and 10 from the 20, shotgun formation, two wide receivers to the bottom of the screen. Well, remember Spencer Brown, talking about offensive line, Spencer Brown isn't active today. Cuts back, has a clear lane, gets about 15 yards. Bramlin takes him down at the 36-yard line. The offensive line, nothing to do with that. So now the Jets in three running plays are close to midfield at 36. Six minutes to go in the fourth quarter. Single back set. If you're, if you're the Jets, why would you not run the ball? Just keep running the ball. Stretch play to the right. Von Miller can't bring him down. He stays in bounds. Gets into Buffalo Bills. Keep running the ball. Just keep running the ball. It wasn't Bob Miller who couldn't tackle him. It was Shaq Lawson, by the way. Benford finally is the one who brings him down. Johnson misses a tackle there. Shaq, why would you not run the ball here? That's a, a penalty on the Bills. Penalty on the Bills. Five-yard penalty. We're giving them free yards even. Giving them free yards even. First and five. Wow. Settle was the one who uh, moved early. First and five, 450 to go now in the fourth quarter. Jets can run the ball here. Because now, not only is running the ball being effective, you're running clock, too. We're inside the 40, four and a half to go. You get another first down, you can easily take two minutes off the clock again. Clock starts becoming an issue. Thir second and one. I wish it was third and one. Second and one, 420 to go. We're not going to stop them here. They're going to get a new set of downs at least. Shotgun formation, run the ball again. First down, inside the 30, to the 25, to the 24-yard line. Four minutes to go. Bills have a player down. Is that Dane Cook or Dane Jackson? 
<laughs> the secondary keeps getting hurt. Everyone's hurt. Everyone is hurt. We're losing everyone in our secondary, and they're still just running the ball anyway because that's how bad our defensive line is at stopping the run in this game. Wow. He's just pretending to be hurt since he can't make a tackle. Jackson will get up on his own power. Well, with some help, but he's walking off on his own power. So good. Glad that's okay. But man, Bills are in trouble here. The Bills are in trouble here. 3.58 to go. Clock's going to be moving, right? About Miller on the sideline. I don't understand that at all. At all. Shotgun for me. They're running the ball. Shotgun, run back to his right. Edmonds on the tackle after getting a three. Second seven shotgun formation, three wide receiver set. They're going to run the ball again because why wouldn't you? Four seconds on play. Good job by the Jets. Taking time off the clock. Run the ball. It's going to be third down. It's going to be third down. Bills need to get a stop here. Third and about four. And I would run it again. If I'm the Jets, I'd run it again. They're in five. 12 rushes for 50 yards for Robinson. Carter, 12 for 76. This would be the last play before a two-minute warning. So this is a big play. Watch Garrett Wilson. Four wide receiver set. Throws the ball complete inside the 10. It's going to be a first down Jets. Two-minute warning. First and goal. So now if you're the Jets, you can run off so much time. You run off so much time. Mims with the catch. Mims with the catch. And it's going to be first and goal Jets with two minutes to go. If you're the Bills, do you let them score in the first place on the way back from the two-man warning? It's a question you have to ask yourself. L.A. and Atlanta, 17-17, less than a minute to go there. L.A. has the ball. Chicago down by three, less than three minutes to go on that one. Carolina, it's 42-21. They're not going to win the game, but they scored a few times. Green Bay has the ball at two-minute warning, down 15-9. Jacksonville, 24-20. Remember when I said we'd get the ball three more times at the end of the third at most? No. <laughs> We're going to maybe get the ball two more times after that, so... New England up 26-3 now. I would love to be that score. I would love to be the Bills and have that score right now. 17-17 in New Jersey. Washington, Minnesota tied 17-17. We have three timeouts. Why let them score T? No, you're right, Spin. You're right. We saw what we did, but we had three timeouts on the other side. I was going to say, we saw what we did with, what, like 40 seconds left in the end of the first half. Well, It's been a bad game. Like, absolutely. Absolutely been a bad game. Bill, all right, so for everyone who's saying the Bills will not make the Super Bowl, in the AFC, which team has not played at least one bad game? 
The Chiefs lost to the Colts. The Titans lost to us by a lot. The Ravens had Miami and the Bills come back trailing by 10. So, like, it's a bad game. I get that. And I get why everyone's upset. But why Why does this take us out of Super Bowl contention? I'm confused by that. Please enlighten me. Now we'll have at least one minute and 30 seconds to get in field goal range. If our defense stops them, if our defense stops them, I can't see us winning this game. It looks tough right now. According to ESPN, the, Bill, the Jets are 83% favorite to win this game right now. But at one point, I think we were an 86% favorite in the first half. So, Our red game wasn't last week. We won last week. We won last week. In fact, in the first half, we only had one possession we didn't score last week. <laughs> you want our bad game to be the game we win by 10 points? Sorry, that's not how the NFL works. <laughs> the bad game is the game we win by 10 points maybe you're the 2007 Patriots <laughs> that's not how the NFL works we don't deserve it today we don't but the, the, the thing that sucks about this is that we're only we're, we're, if the Jets come out and pull off this win we're only two against the division stop them in the backfield finally Von Miller comes in stops them in the backfield timeout 157 second and goal from the eight. Winning against Stitch is important. I, I said, I actually said at the beginning of the stream, and I still believe it, that this is a must-win game if the Bills want the number one seed in the in the AFC. I said that at the beginning, and I still say that. Division games are very important, and we're going to be 0-2 against the division to start things off if the Jets hold on to win this game instead of make a field goal and stop the Bills from scoring. Shotgun formation, two wide receivers top of the screen. Number 10 goes in motion behind Wilson. Wilson's going to try to get in the end zone himself. Gets to about the three. Timeout Buffalo, 150 to go. Third and goal from the four. Zach Wilson with the QB sneak gets to the four-yard line. Minnesota's in the red zone against Washington in a 17-17 game there. The Chargers kicked a game-winning field goal as time expired to win that game 20-17. Bears have the ball two minutes to go in that game, trailing by three. So a few close games here, week one, and this is one of them. 17-17, third and goal, a minute 50 to go. Third and goal, Wilson's in the huddle. Shotgun formation. If they throw it and it's incomplete, we get to keep a timeout. But I wouldn't throw it. I'd run it. And nope. Oh, yeah. Take the sack. Take the sack. He's sacked. Timeout. Hamlin's excited, but, man, I think that that was the plan the whole time. I think it was naked boot. If you don't have it, go down fast. Hamlin with the sack, so congratulations to him. Probably his first sack of the season. But again, yeah, I think I think that they had one read, and if it wasn't open, you take the sack. All right, so minute 45 to go. Jets line up for a field goal. me a 28 yard field goal so closer than an extra point bad snap it's down kicks up and the kick is good 
Minute 43 to go. Bills trailing the Jets 20 to 17. <clears throat> All right, so we're all on the same page. This game matters, right? Like every game matters. Some games matter more, and this one's up there as far as the games matter more. You want to lose? You want to lose a game and say it don't matter? Lose to the Vikings later this year, okay? Like that's the game that, to me, if there's a game left on our schedule that it, you say we have one more loss on our schedule, which one would you would you want to be? I would say the Vikings game. That's the one I would say. Like. That's it. But right now I don't want to lose anything. <clears throat> but Bills Trail 2017 minute 43 goes zero timeouts. So that means we got a score against a really good Jets secondary. And they've shown that all game long. And a Josh Allen who just has not looked confident throwing the ball all game long. I'm going to join Paul and Mario after this one. Paul's going to go in the end zone for a touchback. Bills will start at the 25-yard line. Join Paul and Mario after this for post game. Talk about the good and bad from this game. A lot of you are running for the hills saying that the Bills have no shot in the Super Bowl. Calm down. Calm down. Jets trying to pump up the crowd. Josh Allen, minute 43 go. What you got, bud? Well, you got 17 of 31, two interceptions in this one. Shotgun formation, four wide receivers set. Run back to his left. Jets send four. Has a good pocket, throws it. Has a guy, digs with the catch, with the catch. Beautiful, out of bounds. There's a flag. Dang it. But Diggs is not going back like it's against the Bills. So maybe it's not. Nope, now he is. Dang it. Beautiful catch by Diggs. It's not going to matter. Holding on Buffalo. Great catch by Diggs for nothing. For nothing. First and 20. Well, no, but yeah, first and 20. Third penalty on the Bills today. Both teams have three penalties for 30 yards. So first and 20 from the 15, minute 37 to go. So we just wasted eight seconds for nothing. No timeout still. Allen steps up on the pocket, throws it over the middle, has a guy. Just one four, Davis. Gets 18, gets down. Have to hurry up now. Have to hurry up. Just go north to south, Davis. Do not try this fancy stuff. Minute 20 to go. Second and two. And looking to throw deep. That ball wasn't going forward. They're saying it's the Bills' ball. Was that a strip sack? I thought his arm was going forward. It's inside two minutes. So it's now third and long. His arm is not going forward. That's a fumble. Hurry up. Hurry up. Hurry up. Hurry up. Third and long. Because that fumble, of course, went backwards too. Third and 21. 40 seconds to go. Josh Allen has a big pocket, throws underneath, incomplete, intended for digs. So now it's fourth and 21. Allen holding his arm. You have to wonder if that hit while his arm was go going back did damage to his arm. Going to be a big win for the Jets. Move them to six and three. Jet the Bills will fall to six and two. Looks like Miami's going to hold on to win that one. So this day actually could have been worse for the Buffalo Bills. Jets call timeout on 4th and 21. They wanted to see how the Bills were going to line up. Josh Allen's hurt. Day could not be worse if you're a Buffalo Bills fan. Could not be worse. 
It's Quisenberry who got beat for that sack fumble by Huff. Yeah, and then Allen on the last throw, he comes as soon as he throws it, you see him hold his arm. And right now the loss is 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 not the thing that worries me the most right now. Fourth and twenty one shotgun formation, four wide receivers set. Will the Bills have life after this play? And trying to create time. Throws it deep downfield. That's pass interference. My goodness. The, the Jets defend. Listen, I don't want to get I do not want to get bailed out by pass interference. Fine. Jets win. He doesn't look back for the ball. Fine. Whatever. Why would they throw the game? That makes no sense. But Gardner does not look back for the ball. He's making contact. That's pass interference. But they did not call many flags today. So I'm not surprised they didn't call that one either. But that's pass interference. Yeah. But, I mean, it still goes right through his arms. He needs to catch that. Gabe Davis needs to catch that too. Tough day for the Buffalo Bills, and they're going to lose this one. Because they've And it's possible. I, it's been, you're probably right. It's possible. Definitely not the way we want this to go. Going to be 0-2 against divisional teams going into the season. 6-2, and both losses. Yeah, no, it still went through his hands. He still should have caught it. Two divisional teams. Obviously, Jets fans, very excited. They're going to move to 6-3. and We'll see him again, but, man, the biggest concern right now is Josh Allen's elbow. My biggest concern right now is Josh Allen's elbow. And I understand the whole Bills bag get humbled thing. They needed to be humbled last season. If they want to be considered a Super Bowl team this season, they needed to be humbled. Last. They lost to Pittsburgh week one. They lost to Jacksonville. That stuff needs to stay in your mind. Don't go and tell me like, oh, they need to be humbled. I'm not saying you're wrong. What I'm saying is if that's the case, then we got problems. Like if that's the case, we got major problems. Um Buffalo's as bad as your Dolphins. Uh, if if, ba- if being six and two is bad, fine. We've dealt with bad. We've ba- we dealt with seventeen years of bad. They were bad today. They were bad today. And uh, you know we have to take it a game at a time. Jacksonville's going to hold on to beat the Raiders twenty seven twenty. Looks like in that one. As we cut into that game, let's Paul Mario will be live with you shortly here after this game. Uh, shortly after I'm doing my stream here. And there's nothing good to say about this game. Um, the Bills couldn't tackle. The Bills let the, the Jets run all over them in the second half. You look at you look at the time possession in the second half for the Jets. It's huge. Bad turnovers by Josh Allen. Like I said, there are a few games where you can look at the court. I can say this loss is on you. Josh Allen, this loss is on you. And the good thing is we have a quarterback that's going to admit that. He's going to come in the press conference, and he's going to admit that. This loss is on Josh Allen. He looked bad today. And I don't care what you blame. I don't care if you blame Davis. I don't care if you blame the win. I don't care what you blame. He needs to play better. And no wide receivers dropping balls, bad weather conditions, that does not excuse dumb turnovers. And both the turnovers in this game were dumb. Think about it. We lost by three points. We had the ball inside the red zone when he threw an interception. And we had a 55-year-old field at the end of the half that we missed. That's six points. That's a win. So, what can you do? That's six points that could have won us this game. That makes this game look completely different. But, again, guys, not my fault we lost. Please be sure to hit the thumbs up button. I will be joining you guys next week for the game next week. Um... And hopefully we play better, right? Hopefully the Bills look better next week because we did not look good at all this week. So, again, Paul Mara will be joining you live here shortly, right after this game, giving you post-game analysis. 
uh, how their takes on this game. Again, they do a good job keeping things even keel for you guys. So for all of you ready to jump off that cliff, hold on. We are still 6-2. and two. We are still leading the AFC East. We still, too, control our own destiny when it comes to the number one overall seed uh in the afc playoffs like all that's true uh but it stinks today and you know the game i was i was saying that if we lost one more next week wouldn't it be would be the one that i'd be okay losing well we have that game next week now and now i'm not okay losing that one next week we play the vikings at home uh bills go back home for the game against the vikings but now it's how's josh allen's health how's his elbow because yeah a lot of things worry me right now i'm sure josh allen get two throws off with you know torn something and that scares me a lot. Scares me a lot right now. We're not winning against the Vikings with Case Keenum. We're not winning many games. No offense, Case Keenum, but with Case Keenum, especially if our team plays the way it did today. But I do thank you all for joining me on this edition of Hashtag Sports. Um, defense did not play great. Defense did not play great today. The defense allowed them to stay on the field pretty much the whole second half. Um, run the ball all over them. The defense did not play great today. Do not kid yourself because the Jets only scored 20 points. The Jets beat us today, period. Jets beat us today. So thank you guys for joining me uh, on this edition of Hashtag Sports. Thank you. I appreciate you guys. Always appreciate you guys. Um, but, yeah, don't forget to join me next week, 1 o'clock, as Buffalo Bills play against the Minnesota Vikings. Get ready for the 4 o'clock games. I'm going to spend some time with my family. Have a good time. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. Have a good week. I'll see you Wednesday for Razor Sharp or Thursday. I like the Thursday for Razor Sharp picks. Um, and we'll see you all then. But Bills are owing to this year. Uh, listening to Joe when I can't get the game. Sorry, old man Jenkins. Hope you don't blame me. Don't blame me too much. Uh, love you too, Don. Um, but thank you for joining me. Uh, again, join Paul Mario if you, if you can stomach it. If you can't, join him later. Rewatch it later this week. Um, but Bills fall to six and two. Jets move up at six and three. The Dolphins go to six and three. The the Patriots go to five and four. So things are looking very close in the AFC East. I will see you all next week. The Bills still got a lot of work to do. I'll see you then. Until then, go Bills. Hello fellow Bills fans, Sean Rogers, Realtor and lead of the Mr. Rogers Homes team. Did you know that real estate is one of the best ways to build wealth and right now is one of the best times to own an investment property in Arizona? Please reach out to me. I'd be more than happy to answer any of your questions so we can take the next step to your financial freedom here in the Valley of the Sun utilizing real estate. As always, God bless America and go Buffalo!